Alright, hello all you beautiful people and welcome to another Trails of Code Steel stream. I hope you guys are here. It is part 8. I'm happy that you guys are here. Not, I hope you guys are here. I'm happy you guys are here. And uh, yeah, I'm actually really, really excited about uh, streaming. I've been actually wanting to stream all day today, to be honest. And uh, the really cool part is... Something that I noticed um, right here on this little screen is we find, I think we didn't have, a, I don't know if we had him a last stream or not, but we got Fee on the screen now. That's really cool. Um, we got all nine of our, all nine of our main characters here in the train. So, yeah. And just like the title says, guys, we are failing midterms and still going on school trips. But uh, we already failed the midterms, so now we're going to be, uh, this time we're going to be uh, taking the practical exam, which are uh, the little uh, kind of combat tests that we need to take and pass before we can actually go to the, f uh, the field trip. Um, but I have, like I said before, I'm pretty sure, you know, even though most of our school field trips have been, um, have been with us grouped up with uh, uh, two different types of groups, I'm pretty sure with this next trip, we're going to all be going together. Let's see if I'm right about that, though. Anyways... We were done. We just finished investigating the last uh, main quest, which was to investigate the main schoolhouse. Oh, the old schoolhouse, I mean. So this is where we are right now. Sunset already, huh? We must have been down there a long time this month, too. Thanks for your help today, everyone. There's no way I could have cleared that place out on my own. <laughs> Don't mention it. So what was that aha moment you had back there? Well, I think the old schoolhouse actually follows certain rules. Rules? Well, think about this. The first rule will be that there's always a door at the entrance to every floor. The second is that there's always a really tough monster waiting at the end. The third rule is that each month, a new floor opens up for us to explore. Yeah, those all have held true. It feels more like we're being tested. A test? I guess when I stop and think about it, it does kind of feel that way. But even assuming that's true, who is it? And why? It appears we have no choice but to continue these investigative excursions if we hope to find any answers. Yeah, seems that way. Either way, we've gone as far in as we can today. Let's meet up again next time. Quest Old Schoolhouse Mystery 3 completed and oh we got the gladiator piece already we got one of the gladiator pieces these are broken give this to your damage dealer so that way they can spam uh their s crafts so you definitely want all the gladiator pieces are like the best piece in the game well in the previous games they were they were the best so you know things may be different this time but let's see received one additional bonding point all right Let's see who we can bond with. Emma again? Or Gaius? Yeah. Emma, for sure. Oh yeah, we leveled up our um our fishing or whatever it is. I don't I, I don't know what it was exactly, but we leveled up something fishing related. Oh, he's not here. I guess he's only here in the afternoon. Okay. Alright, well, I guess we're just going to go to Emma and do the bonding. <clears throat> Emma, where are you? Did the books change? I can't tell if they're different or not. I really don't know. Uh, not that one. And I'm pretty sure not that one either. This one looks new. Yeah, it is new. Emma's over here. Okay. Alright, Emma. Hey, Emma. What's up? Are you studying? I was doing research for the literature club, so I decided to take the opportunity to check my answers from our midterm. I was also, going, I was also thinking about reviewing the material for our upcoming classes, too. Heh. <laughs> you dominate the exam scoreboards for a reason. I should probably take a page from your book and start studying harder. And of course, I'll be cheering you on. Remember, I'm always here to help if you have any questions. 
Asking her to explain a few of the harder points from class might help me out in the long run. Yeah. So, this might be a bit about a bit out of the blue, but would you mind helping me out with some study-related questions? There are a few things we went over in class that I didn't understand all that well. It'd be my pleasure. Shall we get started then? Absolutely, let's do it. I see. So this is where you apply this formula. <laughs> That's right. You're a fast learner. <laughs> That's high praise coming from you, Emma. How are you feeling about those midterms? Or how would you feel how are you feeling about those midterms anyways? Expecting a good score? <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. I did everything I possibly could, but the rest is in Adio's hands now. How about you, Reen? Hmm. I can't really say, to be honest. Fingers crossed that I beat the average. <laughs> you did not beat the average. That's not quite the shoot. <laughs> That's not quite shooting for the stars, but it's a good start. I'm curious to see how Fee scored, too. I'm pretty sure Fee scored higher than me at this point. I only got two of the... Two of the five right, I believe. Wait, Green, stop. That's not how you do that. This calls for a different formula. You see, if you... Whoa. Are you paying attention? Uh, oh, right. Sorry. Huh. Never really noticed it before, but compared to a lot of other girls here, she's really filled out and... Uh... Whoa, 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 Reen. Come on. Get your head back in the right place. Right in between... No. Wow. Reen, all of a sudden you've turned bright red. Are you okay? Do you feel feverish? No. I'm fine. I'm fine. That must just be the, uh, the light from the sunset. In fact, I'm more than fine. I'm just great. Never felt better in my life. Uh, okay, then. If you say so. <laughs> Let's move on to the next page. They kept studying until it was time for Reen to excuse himself. However, because he suddenly found his mind otherwise occupied, he wasn't able to retain much of what he learned. Your bond of Emma strengthened up. Level 3? Yes, level 3! And that's the max that we can so far go with Emma. Uh, we reached level 3. She got out of tier while my level 3 was cover. Okay, I really want to check out how auto tier works. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of, uh, kind of blatant fan service like that, but whatever. We got our XP. Let's go to the dorms. Let's get out of here. I just, just personally, just, I don't really, never found stuff like that funny. It's not really entertaining at all. But, uh, that's just me. I guess some other people might like it, but not me. It's getting dark. So if I go to my room now, I'll be in for the night. Returning to the dorm during the evening on a free day causes the day's activities to end. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Dang it. There you go. Enter the dorm. <laughs> not stay out and about. Oh, Reen, did you just get back too? Oh, hey there, instructor. Welcome back. Well, the building's still standing, so I guess you all behaved yourselves. Excellent. It looks like you've really thrown yourself into helping out the student council, Reen. But you spend all your time working, and life will just pass you by before you even know it. Alas. If only my evil stepteacher would stop dumping a bunch of work on me and let me go to the ball. Hey, did something happen? You look really beat. Nothing bad. Just been real busy these last couple of days. That Tovo really needs to learn how to treat a lady. Honestly, dumping that much work on me? Come on, I'm too delicate for that. Rumble. I guess your hot date didn't turn out so well then. Huh? Of course it did. As if a night with me could fall short of unforgettable. He was just amazing. Such a gentleman. So strong. So passionate. 
but I'm afraid all the details might be more than you can handle. It's too soon to corrupt your poor innocent heart. Yeah... I almost want to believe it, but yeah, I don't think so. Everything okay last night then? Nothing major happened while I was away? Not particularly. Oh wait, actually we had a woman show up claiming to be the dorm's new caretaker. Did you know about this? Oh, she's here already? I'd heard that the Rainford family was sending a maid, but I wasn't sure when she'd arrive. Sniff. Something sure smells good, though. Well, I'll bet that's Sharon fixing dinner. She's a great cook. She made breakfast for us today, too. Oh, I can hardly wait. This Class 7 gig has some real fringe benefits. I'll have to get her to whip up some snacks with my beer later. To go with my beer later. <laughs> Looks like she knew about Alyssa's family after all. Oh, hey, Sharon. Get to see you. You can stop with the Master Reen stuff, though. It's not like I'm the one paying your salary. My dearest Reen. Yeah, I would prefer that. Whoa! Not in front of the teacher. Every single time, I forget just how amazing her voice is. いいえ。初対面なのは間違いない方と存じます。よろしくお願いいたします。サラバレスタインさん。ええ、こちらこそ。シャロンクルーガーさん。うん。Maybe there's something about Sharon that we don't know yet. Hmm. This looks like At least short, sir. At least short, sir. That's a uh, Reen's sister. He said he said on the previous stream uh, towards the end that he had a sister. What's that sound? A train. Yeah, that was the train. どうかご心配なく私の方と言えば日々きつがなく暮らしておりますいまだ宿女にはほど遠いとはいえ友人にも恵まれ楽しく充実した生活を送らせてもらっていますそれよりもリアカデミシンアナザーアカデミ第一に
しかしここ数日帝都近郊ではあいにくの長雨続きでしたね私もせっかくのオフを潰されて遊びにも行けずに腐っていましたさて6月下旬帝国各地では下司祭で盛り上がっているところも多いのではないでしょうか紺碧のカイトオルディスでは湾内を無数のかがり火が埋め尽くすという幻想的な光景が見られますしタクアのキュートセントアークでは5日にわたる夜祭りが開かれます Maybe we're gonna go とか言いつつ残念ながら私も行ったことはないんですけど悔しいので今度休暇が取れたらどこか遠くの地への鉄道旅行を決行したいなどこへかってそうですね I would also love to visit Crossbell. Orange shield and all. Yeah. Great games. Great games. And then three days later is practical exam day. Lunch break. We're gonna get to see our uh, our results from our test that we failed miserably. Yep. This is exactly like P4. Persona 4. Okay, this is like the people who did the worst here. Wow, I'm surprised I'm not there then. Oh, feed the terrible. Okay. There we go. 52. We almost broke average, actually. Woo! I'm happy. It's out of 1,000 points. We got 718. That's a, that's a C right there. That's pass. Elliot did pretty good. Damn, all of our classes up there. They both tied. <laughs> okay. I love how they put up Alyssa's name there. So if we didn't find out by this time Alyssa's last name, we would have found out now. <laughs> Looks like you made good on your word after all. Oh. Oh, Fifty-two. You expected me to score higher? I expected myself to score lower. I'm happy about that. Seven eighteen points. Seven hundred eighteen points out of one thousand. That's a C. That's a seventy-one, almost seventy-two percent. That's a pass. I'm happy. That makes two of us, man. It's okay. I didn't do so well either. Yeah, you did not. <laughs> Guilty as charged. I need to kick back my study habits into high gear next time. We'll have to see if we can storm the gates of the Tower of Knowledge, Fee. I exactly if I feel like it. Damn. Even with me uh putting us down, we still got the uh the first uh we our class tied with class one in the highest points. Oh no no, we are we're number one. I was like one and seven. How does that work? We scored no. Wait, then then it was like one 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 three. I was like, wait a minute. 
No, we scored the highest. Class 1 just right behind us. Yeah. <laughs> ちょっと予想はしてたけど。俺が属するクラスが負けることなどありえんがな。だから君はなんでそんなにも偉そうなんだ。いや、実際みんな頑張っただろう。Me hmm. <laughs> too. Good work, everyone. Class one's not gonna be happy. Yep, I thought so. How humiliating. How could the pride of the Empire's nobility lose to these plebeians? And Alyssa, thinking she could hide her roots that easily. I'm happy. We did not... We didn't fail. 70... That's a 71, almost 72. We passed. We passed. When you just score... Two correct. When you get two, uh, two questions correct, that's a pass. Well, aren't you all the overachievers? Congrats on your amazing performance. On your amazing performance on the midterms. I'll cherish that grumpy look on the vice principal's face forever. That'll teach him to poke his nose into my business. We didn't do all that work just so you could stick it to him, you know. Besides, you bring most of it on yourself. Ah. Always tromping around like he owns the place with that smarmy mustache of his. It's one thing to gripe about work, but where does he get where does he get off telling me what to wear and how to behave in a bar? Now he keeps telling me I need to hurry up and get married? Yeah, I'll marry my foot to your face, jackass. <laughs> anyway. Is everyone ready to 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 leap boldly into this month's practical exam? I'm fully prepared, instructor. I can take whatever tasks you have to throw at us. Uh, well, at least this ought to be easier than the midterms. And that's why I like it more. Here we go again. This one looks different from the rest. Hold on. You noticed too, huh? Yeah. Color's different, shape's different, yet it seems similar somehow. The material, that's what's similar. Maybe. Is something wrong? No. Here they go again. Oh, who is this? Oh, team, it's class one. We're in the middle of, of an exam, boys. Back the heck up. あら。どうしたの君たち。1組の武術教練は明日のはずだったけど。いいえ。トマス教官の授業がちょうど自習となりましてね。せっかくだからクラス間の交流をしに参上しました。クロスクラス exchange. Well, if you want to humiliate yourselves for a second time, <laughs> well be my guest. 最近目覚ましい活躍をしている7組の諸君相手にね。お、それって。Judging by the rapier in your hand, I'm guessing you're not here to exchange pleasantries over tea and cookies. ふふ。差しがいいじゃないか。そのからくりも結構だが、たまには人間相手もいいだろ僕たち1組の代表が、君たちの相手を務めてあげよう。ふふ。
なかなか面白そうじゃない実技テストの内容を変更1組と7組の模擬戦とする4対4の試合形式アーストドーの使用も自由よ And items too? Oh my god, this is gonna be a cakewalk. I got to choose? Oh yeah, easy. Oh, this is easy. Give me Laura, give me Emma, and give me Elliot. This is all I need. This is all I need. Hmm. I dislike the notion of fighting against women. It's a man's duty to protect the fragile flowers of womanhood, not to wound them. Reconsider your team, and this time bring men to face us? Wow. Ugh. Who the hell does he think he is? I'll put a fragile flower in his grave. N now, now, Fee. Guess this isn't, this isn't gonna happen unless I do what he... Yeah, yeah. I like how, Why is, uh... Why is Laura still highlighted? I mean, if it gives me the option, I'm gonna take it. And then, uh, Akius. Hmm. Okay, now she's not highlighted. I was just confused. I was like, wait a minute, is it really gonna allow me? Yeah. All right. Well, Elliot, Akius, and. Uh, Uh, Yusus or Gaius? I'll go with Yusus. Huh. You should have been among the ranks of Class 1 to begin with. I would rather hope a son of House Alberea would need no demonstration of the nobility's refined spirit and dignity. It won't allow Yusus now? Alrighty. Why didn't you just tell me who you wanted to fight instead? Save that just save that there just in case. Uh we're gonna link my s hold on. Myself with you and you and you and uh You have open slots I guess for this fight I can do something Demonic scythe is pretty busted Um, let's take, do you have any, oh, you already have breath. What is hair? Oh, it's just another breath. Take the cast one. And silver thorn. Gives me some art attack for this fight. And that's where we'll, st that's where we'll stay. Your stuff is pretty far behind, honestly. But yeah, we got the gladi gladiator head pe uh, piece. Much better on someone like Laura, but... For the purposes of this fight, I will give it to myself. Take this one off, though. I can give you a ceramic ring and a prismatic cape. Actually, take off the ceramic ring and take this marble bracelet. I 
Gaius. Take the proxy puppet just in case. And then you can also take a pick card plush. I think we're all okay, to be honest. I think I'm over... Over preparing, but... We're, I think we're good. Looks like you're all set then. <laughs> well, they wanted to embarrass themselves yet again. Especially in front of the two girls in your class over there. Whew. Not gonna be a good look if any of you guys are trying to impress any of them. He may be a fool, but even a fool can be dangerous with a blade in hand. And I'm sure his lackeys are well trained. Whatever deficiencies they may have otherwise. Make sure you don't under underestimate them. Got it. Well, he is a member of the fencing club after all. Huh. <laughs> we'll see how cocksure he feels when we're through with him. Let's have a good fight, everyone. I thought for a minute the guy with the blue hair said that, but it was Gaius. Weapons at the ready. You guys are all using rapiers. <laughs> Makis pulls out a damn shotgun. <laughs> oh, it, it gets me every time, guys. It gets me every time. Pulls out a shotgun. <laughs> Meet the following conditions. No one is knocked out during the battle, and no one uses arts throughout the battle. Are you kidding me? Why oh, didn't you tell me that before that? I wouldn't have prepared Elliot like I did. We're gonna get all these buffs up. You guys are grouped up together, so you guys are looking pretty nice over there. How would you guys like to be blinded? Oh, poison too. And the counter. You're gonna use an art? Come on, I thought that was illegal. Break shot, I get to impede you. Let's get that extra ba uh, bravery point, not battle point, bravery point. Autumn leaf cutter. Where I can delay your turns. Blue Lullaby. I'm a bit far. I could have gotten three of them, but... Oh, well. We'll settle with this. Might even get them. No, we didn't get any of them asleep. Bunch of arts are being casted. Good damage. Their arts went off. Okay. Gotta be careful there. Nice. Now we get the. Now next time we unbalance someone, we can rush. God, this song. Oh my gosh. Woo, nice. Double cracker. Okay. Blue lullaby on everyone. I like it. Knocked out. You know what? Let me let me interrupt you guys here for a minute. As I S craft burn you. Oh, I burned both of you. Della's. Oh my gosh. Oh, Della's only. Re 
survived by a tiny bit. Mark Unlike in Trolls in the freaking sky, I, it was a, I think it was against the Ravens. I I think. Or it was just the regular common foot soldiers of the enemy side. Um, they would revive themselves by, with full HP every time, and I would I would be so annoyed. Get back on the ground. You guys are blinded, so you guys are not going to do anything. Uh oh. What's the matter? Your morality's fallen? He's going to tell us, yeah. Blue lullaby where I can get these three. I missed that one, though. Uh, you guys are not really. I'm not too worried about you two. Dang, you have eleven thousand. Oh, they all had eleven thousand. You have fourteen thousand five hundred, Patrick. Okay. I'm gonna strike you. I'm gonna let Machia. Ah, dang. Well, I was going to have Machia attack both of them. Oh my god, Machia, you missed. Tira? Oh my lord. Guys. Just don't rush it yet. Don't do a rush yet. We don't need it. For someone that's dying, we don't need it. Yes. That one's down. We got two of them down. That one's just sleeping. Poisoned and blind. Get their bow. I'm gonna delay you both. You're still too fast. Let's, uh, Machia! Oh my god, Machia, you made me fail a condition, you useless. I didn't want you on here for a dang reason. Uh, it is your fault. God dang it, man. That's a fail. Machias, 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 Machias. This is why I don't bond with you. Oh my lord, Machias. Machias, I cannot believe you made me feel a condition. Oh my lord, Machias, you are never joining my party ever again. I swear. <laughs> I swear. It's a, it's funny. It's funny. I'm I'm just cracking up on Machias. Nice. I'm just gonna normal this. Build us our crafts or our CPs back up. I lost an AP point thanks to you, Machias. We got a celestial bomb for this. Holy crap, even an EP charge three. That's not bad. We got a lot of stuff at mass. Oh, of all characters, only Machias leveled up. Dang, we could have gotten two AP there. That sucks. You guys embarrass yourself with half of my team being people I don't even use. 
やったかななんとか勝てたどうだこれが僕たちの人生 Let him know Let him know マーキアス Let him know This can't be happening How could we lose to this This rabble <laughs> Hey, that was a good fight. Pretty intense, too. You had us on the defensive more than a few times. If we get another chance sometimes, how about we. You son of a. Grrr. That was uncalled for. The rest of you are no better. Did you somehow think scoring highest on the exams would mask the fact that you crawled up from the dregs of society? What of you, Rainford? A family of upstart arms peddlers who think being flush with money is all the pedigree they need? And what if the barbarian and your Jaeger tot? I'm surprised they could even they could even read the enrollment forms. What the hell? I won't deny that how the Rainford Company made its millions. Am I the Jaeger tot? What a terrible thing to say. Patrick, I think you might have crossed the line. Silence! You don't tell me what I can and can't say. How utterly foul. Enough of this. A guy is stepping in the way. I'm not sure I understand, but maybe you can clear things up. What is it about nobles that makes, a, makes them superior to those who aren't? A Gaius? I won't deny that I'm not from this... From, I'm not the... Oh my god. I won't deny that I'm not from this country. That's as plain as the nose on my face. Back in my homeland, we don't really have anything like your class system, so the concept is pretty foreign to me. Really? I mean, no offense by asking, but I want to know what it is that elevates nobles above the rest of the people. What? The superiority of nobles is self-evident. We come from families of distinguished lineage built on generations of tradition. That gives us a dignity, refinement, and pride that those of common birth could never hope to possess. We represent that pinnacle of man's achievement. That is what makes us nobles. Hmm, I see. I've witnessed that dignity and refinement myself. I see it in how Laura and Eustace carry themselves. But that leads me to another question. I can understand the importance of tradition, lineage, dignity, pride. I get why those would matter. But where do you think they let you get off by saying those kinds of things that you did? I, I... Gaius. Hmm. But Patrick, I... I really think you should... Heh. <laughs> Gaius raises an excellent question. I'd say this marks the end of our mock battle. Many thanks to our members of Class 1 for their gracious cooperation. Oh, and just for future reference... Self-study doesn't mean wander around outside doing whatever you want. It goes for you two over there, too. Back to the classroom with you. Y yes, instructor. Please excuse us. I've decided that for your combat training tomorrow, I'll be pointing out everything that you did wrong today. I'll be giving you the full shameful play-by-play, -play, of course. But I want you to really think about what you need to improve. Yeah! Very well. Excuse us. Patrick! Wait for us! Whew. For a while there, I was worried that was gonna be that was really gonna get ugly. As far as I'm concerned, it already had. This is exactly why I can't stand nobles. Please, don't place me in the same category as that imbecile. Thanks, Gaius. That meant a lot to me. Eh? 
Not sure why you're thinking of me, but whatever I did, I'm glad to have helped. Okay, that concludes this month's practical exam. Next, I'll be giving you the locations for your next field study. Oh, yes! It almost slipped my mind. Where to this month? Everyone, take one of these. Let's see, are we going to be all together this time? Oh no, we're split. Field study in June. Group A is Reen, Alyssa, Emma, Eusis, Gaius. Okay. Okay. We're going to the Nord Highlands. Okay. That's awesome. And we're coming with Gaius. That's even more awesome. We get to learn about uh, his hometown. And we're going to... Group B is Machias, Elliot, Laura, and Fee. I was really hoping that I can have Laura and Fee on my team. Particularly because I want... Um, I want them to get over their, uh, their little squabble already. But it looks like probably next chapter we'll, we'll finally see something of it. Um... Okay. We're with Alyssa, Emma, Eusis, and Gaius. Okay. I'm just trying to, trying to memorize it. Because, uh... I'm gonna start shopping for their weapons and armors and whatnot. So we have Reen, Alyssa. I'm gonna have Reen and Alyssa. I'm gonna have Alyssa on the main team with Emma, obviously, and Gaius. I mean, Gaius, Usus. Okay. Bryonia Island. That's in the far west of the Empire, isn't it? Indeed. It's an island off the coast of La Lamar Prov La Mer La Mer province, known for its ruins. However, the Nord Highlands are beyond the Empire's northeastern borders, are they not? That's right. They are out past Roar, on the other side of the border. Since the age of antiquity, the Highlands have been home to a tribe of nomads. Yeah, now that you mention it. You're from Nord Highlands, aren't you, Gaius? Sure am. We've actually made arrangements for everyone in Group A to stay at my home in my in our settlement. I hope you all enjoy yourselves. Okay, nice. We're gonna be going to his home, like not just the the area of his home, but actually his home. We ranked up. We are now rank B three and received Medal of Discipline as a perk. Okay. One thirty AP to get to uh, B two. Who's talking there, by the way? Field study day. しかし驚いたよ。まさかノルド高原が実習地に選ばれるなんてな。でも士官学院を設立した。ドライケルスタイって旅借りの地でもあるんですよね。ああ。獅子戦駅の降り、大抵が挙兵した場所だったな。逆に言うと、そのくらいしか知らない場所だけど。ノルドの地については、生き延列車で説明しよう。とにか
すっかり管理人として馴染んじゃってるし。<笑> I don't know why you don't. 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 違うならいいんだけどまあいいわそれじゃあ行ってくるわね We still have to learn the history with、uh, Alyssa What is What's up with Alyssa and Sharon Um Like obviously she might have like some squabble with like Her parents kind of like with how y o u s i s did But um I want to know why she's so against it Um And, uh, yeah, I guess, we'll I guess we'll have to find out. Probably, maybe we'll go to Roar where Alyssa's family is in the next chapter. おはようございます。起きていらっしゃったのならお見送りされればよろしいですのに。ま、特別実習は当日の朝から始まってるからね。指導、評価する側としてはいろいろと気を使ってるってわけよ。She's not joining us this time. なるほど。She usually joins one of the groups. それより、一つ質問。あなたの方はいつ戻ってくるわけ<笑>サラ様はおそれどくて困ってしまいますそうでございますねお嬢様方の実習が終わる頃までにはとだけなるほどね、so、she'll be gone by the time we come back all rare courts and accessories have been unequipped from the other group's members Sucks. I wanna. Like, they're back here. Okay, we can take them off. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I was about to say, like, I'm, I'm unable to touch their stuff. But no, I can. Significant art attack bonus. I feel like that's something way better suited for、uh, someone who actually uses it.、Uh, art more. But at the same time, this gives a good amount of strength as well, so. They don't really need that. Like, they're fine with what they have, I guess. Alright. Wait, remove all? Oh, I could just do that. I'm scared that that's gonna touch everyone. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm scared that that'll touch everyone, not just them. Okay, good, 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 good. Alright. So. Alright, Emma. So, what do we have here? We gave you the, the preferred Master Quartz that I prefer, I, I guess I should say. What can I give you? You already have an earth and a fire attack. I would like something that could mix the two. Because I would like to have all,、uh, one of the four elements on you. And this gives you the water and the wind, and also, I guess, the time as well. This gives you, obviously, the supporting stuff, which is great. This gives you the art attack. And obviously, Tira is the heal. Tira is a single target heal, though. Let me see. Let's see. What can I put here? Um. 
I would like something that can mix like earth and fire. Heat wave is better than fireball. Instead of earth lance. Oh yeah, yeah, take earth lance. That's fine. Um This is tough. This is tough. He doesn't have any Well, I have I'm not a big fan of like reviving stuff like Della's. Or fellas, however you want. I think Dallas is pronounced. I don't really like that. I I would rather just use reviving bombs. Well, I'm pretty sure these heal a lot more when you revive someone, but like, eh. I'd rather not wait to get your my my character up. I'd rather get them up immediately. I think it's... Oh, wait. You already get 500. Yeah, you're fine. Um... I don't really... really I don't really know. I'll just give you something like, uh... She already has, like, mine, too. So she doesn't really need that. I can give her cast one. Oh, I didn't know this was open. I forgot. Uh, Luminous Ray. Analyze. EP Mind. Silver Thorn. Pretty good. I also It also gives her some buff on uh, her art attack a little bit. And gives her a little bit of EP. Sure. We'll mess with these for now. For now. I gotta start opening up my slots. Let's see here. So I'm I'm Am I gonna be hitting harder than Gaius? Well, I gotta buy their equipment. So I can't tell yet. Let me do that first. Going to the station is what we gotta do to continue our, you know, story, but let me go to the engineering building. Customize weapon. Huh. I gotta buy the weapon first. I guess I'll have to buy his weapon when I'm out there. Re Good amount of money there. Yeah, he doesn't really give us anything. Oh, he's gonna give us Mobius. Face Elemental Master Quartz increases the potency of healing items. I don't like that. I'm not going to spend my money on that. Right, let me not skip those up real quick. Hold on. Someone like guys might not be using something good right now. Oh, he is. Okay. I can take these off now. Yeah, their accessories are already taken off. Eustace is joining us. I forgot about that. I need to get his weapon, but I don't think I can get it here. I gotta get it. I usually get weapons when I'm out at the uh, locations. The general store doesn't. It just sells items or food items, right? Yeah, I have food items and accessories. 
Okay. Defensive equipment lady, what are you doing? Oh, there you are. I was about to say, where are you? Alyssa and Emma are good. We didn't use Emma earlier, so she they just upgraded her, I guess. And of course Alyssa as well. But we were using Usus. Did they upgrade Usus? Oh, we were using Emma, that's right. I can't see Usus though. Oh, I can. They're fine. I think this stuff's not good at all. I guess we'll be doing all of our upgrading over there. In the meantime, I guess I can fix these up. Right now, I'm hit stronger than Gaius. He has a plus three weapon. Let's just give myself the attacking stuff. Give myself the attack too. Instead of this evade. Oh wait, you gotta put that there. Yeah, give myself the attack too. Take off this defense stuff. This is terrible. <clears throat> The one thing that I really like, though I do not have yet, is when you have a when you attack the enemy, you have a chance to petrify or freeze them. Specifically petrify, because you could instant kill them. Let's see, let's see. Restore CP by attacking enemies on the field. That's so good. That is so good. I, I'm going to put that on for now. I don't need something like cast. What can I replace this with? Action 2. Absolutely. Aqua Bleed is nothing great. To be honest, I don't need an HP 1. Like, I could put some movements, some movement stuff, if anything. Once again, I forgot to take off the notifications for Steam. Let me go ahead and do that, guys. Hold on. I'm sorry about that. I got to remember to do that. That's something I don't really typically do. Okay. Um... Movements, not the worst thing. Whoops. Hit's not bad either. Okay, I'll take the... I uh, I can take the movement and give me movement plus ten. How big? How much is? Oh my gosh! Like how? There's no grid on the gr on the ground anymore, so I don't think. Jesus, ten extra movements? I don't think I need all that. But you know what? I, I'm not going to uh, refuse it. Uh, where's the orb? Oh, yeah, let me go back to the, uh, engineering building to open up slots. The modify exchange slots. There you go. I opened up all mine. Nice. You can start doing the level. Oh, there is no level twos. Oh, probably not yet. Probably not yet. Or maybe not this game. There's four games in this series, so... Who knows? Now, I'm struggling on Mirage, so regardless... That's where I'll go. Uh, that's where I'll leave it. Um, buffs an ally with strength and defense 25%. Wow. 
Wow. Four turns. Skewer stat down. Something like this would be nice to put on someone like Alyssa. Because she's... She feels very supporty. Um, but also, at the same time, Elliot's not bad of a choice either. Uh, this isn't bad either. Chrono Drive? I just don't have the time. <laughs> I don't have the time, that's funny. I, I don't have the time sep it for it, <laughs> is what I mean to say. I'm literally 9 off. That sucks so much. It really does. It feels like we're really struggling pretty hard on the the three um, non-main elementals. I like something like this on Alyssa because she focuses pretty much on burn. I would like her to improve, keep doing it, keep burning everything. Impassion. This is amazing. Petrified. There it is. The one I was talking about. Crest. Oh, single target. Heals 30% HP for four turns. For a single person, though. I don't like that. I don't like it. Let's not do too much now. I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. Orb mint. Yeah, Alyssa's attack is just pretty poor. But I'm going to give you burn. I have a fire slot I can put in. I probably do impassion. Or give it to like... Uh, Alyssa. I need to put something there. I think she's all fire right now. Her arch attack is 210. That's, uh... I'm par of uses. Slightly below Elliot. Okay. She's the third highest arts hit arts hitter, so arts are not too bad. Man, use is the is the weakest hit string fitter. Ugh. Let me focus on this first. What am I gonna put here? I was about to say I'm gonna take that one and move it, but never mind. I already I can't because I need to put one um both of these. I'm shaking all. I'll take Sobler because it increases my speed, but that's pretty much the only reason why. Alyssa, I gotta put. I want to do something with you. Passion. Once I get these slots open, I can do so much more. A blazing orb of fire uh, covers the earth with intense heat. Because I'm unable to give Gaius any sort of uh, um, regular elemental that I can choose, because both of the two that I have for him unlocked are uh, both strict in their elements. They want wind and earth, I think it was, or something like that. Um, I wanted to give him the attack one, but I may as well just give it to myself, because, you know, he can't put it. That's where I want to put it. So I'm just going to give it to myself. And for this last one... Uh, 
Uh, septium vein's not bad because we can get grind all this stuff out. But that's un that's something you don't need. I get hopes with grinding less for these the sepif, but I personally would just take stuff that will actually affect the battle. I'm probably honestly gonna just take hit too. So that way I don't miss my attacks. And I can just hit people. For now, I, we can just go with this. Um. Once I open up these slots, I can do a little more, like I said. Eustace, I forgot. I took everything off, even though I forgot that you're coming with us. I can give Yusa something like a golden sphere. I don't really know what to do with Yusa, to be honest. Give him like EP cuts and, uh,. You can take heal or tira tira and besides since i'm not really using you your stuff might be pretty weak so i'd rather have you gradually heal yourself i guess for now that's all we can really work on well probably so i'm gonna still keep this gladiator headband medal of discipline that we got from the exam gives us Speed plus 3 and prevent delay. I can take Metal of Fortitude, which gives me even more strength, though, and prevents faint, which I'll do. Gaius, though, I'm going to... Wait, hold on. When it, when it comes to a game of speed, I'll be first, then Alyssa, then Emma, then Gaius, okay. Yeah, Alyssa, I want you to take the Medal of Discipline. I want your speed up, but at the same time, I don't know if that's a great idea. Cozy socks. Holy, holy crap. Take that instead. Gives you strength plus 10. What was that that I saw? Prevents Mute. Yes, take it. Prismatic Cape is a plus 15. Of a prevent burn. Uh, prevent confuse, I mean. We'll do that. We'll do that. And for someone like you, Yusis, if... I can give you... Not exactly quite sure. I'll give you the marble bracelet. And ceramic ring, sure. Your, your physical attack is just pretty poor, to be honest, so, like, you'll be lacking. Oh, 
I'll give you the Medal of Fortitude, Gaius, and anything else strength-based? No. And I can give you... I'll give you the sword tail badge. And finally, Alyssa. Let's do this and we can go on. I'll give you the Medal of Discipline. Because I want you to go second. Probably a ZCF light. Now, nah, I'll, I'll take the Picard plush. Extra survivability. And then finally, let's fix this up. Doo -doo, doo -doo. Well, we're already level 3 with Emma, so I don't... Well, I don't think I should do that. Do let's level up our bond with uh, Alyssa first. Yeah, that's sounds good. Okay. Now let's get the heck out of here. We always spend so much time in every Trails of game. Uh, every trails game um, is messing with those. Can I rest up real quick? I doubt it would allow me though. I don't even know which is my room. This it's definitely not this. Yeah, they don't allow me. Okay. Oh well. Let's just go to where we gotta go. Enter. Enter. Press the station. Not enter. Where's Fee? Oh, Reen! You're ready to depart too, I see. Yeah. We were about to leave. Um, oh, there they are. Hmm? Don't you still need to purchase your tickets? Oh, yeah, you're right. Looks like we'll be traveling together as far as Heimdaller this time. Very well. Let's stop dallying and buy them already. Let's do that. Good morning, Class 7. I hear Group A is heading all the way out to Nord Highlands this month. You heard right. We'll need to change trains twice. First in Heimdaller, then in Rower, right? Oh, so we'll be going to your hometown for a little bit. I wonder how long we'll be in Rower, though. Is it enough to actually travel out uh, and exp uh, go and explore, I mean? Correct. From Rower, you need to transfer to a freight line for the, for the last leg of your journey. Regret regrettably, we can't handle that part of your trip here. Actually, it seems arrangements have already been made for that segment. We only need to buy tickets for as far as Rower. Ah, that won't be a problem then. Do you want them right now? Buy tickets and wait. Certainly. Okay, that's five passengers bound for Rower. I'll have those tickets for you in just a moment. There goes Group B. And right behind them, Group A, us. For a train station, there's like no one here. Passenger service bound for Heimdaller now arriving on platform 2. We ask that all passengers wishing to board please wait on the platform until the train has come to a complete stop. Huh. I'd say we timed that pretty well. <laughs> Impeccable timing. True. Hmm. It seems there's a two-woman cold front blowing your way. Well, don't worry about us. We'll see what we can do to thaw them out. Yeah. Just don't expect them to be weaving each other flower crowns when we get back, okay? Alright. 
We'll leave them to you then. Good luck. That's definitely not going to get fixed. If anything, we're going to be in that team and then we're going to be the ones to settle it. Alright, like they said, here we go. <laughs> oh, everyone's here. That's right. I didn't see them walk in, but they did say that we were going to go together, so I was like, wait a minute, they didn't walk in. Wow, these sandwiches really hit the spot. Ham, lettuce, and cheese. And I'm getting a hint of pickle in there, too. <laughs> the ingredients are simple enough, but the way they come together is something special. Even the butter tastes different from what I'm used to. And this tea is equally perfect. The rest, the, the zest of the lemon complements the taste perfectly. You have quite the maid looking after you. Well, mother hired her, not me. She's a talented maid, though. I won't deny that. She handles the typical housework and greeting guests, as you'd expect. But she also manages mother's schedule. Wow! Managing the company chairman's schedule doesn't really sound like part of a typical maid's job description. She really is that talented, though. Which is why I can't work out why mother sent her to look after me. Those two are up to something. I just know it. Regardless, there are def definitely perks to having her around. I think you should accept your mother's kindness. I agree. You must have started working before sunrise to prepare all this for us. I know, I know. Anyway, look at those two. So we're headed to Brionia Island this time. All I know about it is that it hosts some sort of ancient ruins. I'm not certain what to expect. Come to think of it, this will be the first time I've had a chance to see the ocean. What about you two? Hmm. Now that you mention it, I've never seen it either. I have. Oh really? Mm-hmm. During a landing operation in the corpse. Uh oh, speaking of ruins, Legroom has some fairly well-known ruins, doesn't it, Laura? Oh yeah. The Saint's Castle or something like that. You must be referring to Lohen Lohengrin Castle. It's a magnificent stronghold that faces out onto the lake. You can see it from the town itself. It's quite beautiful in the days when the mist clears. Oh, wow. Sounds like a sight worth seeing. Hmm. Sounds like you'd be in trouble if a skilled sniper set himself up there. Doesn't sound like they're getting along very well. Hmm. I feared as much. <sighs> I doubt Fee is doing it on purpose. Laura seems uncharacteristic. Un Laura seems uncharacteristically offended by it too. Yeah, she's usually so composed. But something about Fee seems to get under her skin. Yeah, we're not. Their problems are not going to get fixed here for sure. Only gonna get fixed when we get there on our team when we get them on our team next chapter more than likely Here's our first stop where we get um where we have to board another train Team Dollar Central Station You know, one of the things I was looking forward to playing these Cold Steel games for was, uh, since there's a bit more of a budget behind this and stuff like that, I would expect that there to, to be more people, more stuff happening in the background, make it feel more lively. But it, it still seems like the exact same way, like the other games, uh, the way they, the other games handled it, handled it in the, uh, the Trails in the Sky and Crossbow games. It doesn't seem very lively. It, feel, it still feels dead. It still feels like you're in a some sort of remote country with just some crazy, like, um, expensive, you know, train station. It's like, you should be... I would expect, you know, when you check a train station, you would see a couple of, you know, NPCs walking, standing around, being with their families, instead of just, like, three or four per screen. You know what I mean? That's what I was hoping to see. That was one of my, uh, you know, one of my... One of the things I anticipated seeing here, but it still seems that they're not going to be doing anything like that. 
there's there's more games in the series, so I guess we'll have to see if anything changes, but somehow I'm starting to doubt that. It never ceases to amaze me just how big Hame Dollar Station is. I've heard it said that it's not merely the largest station in Erebonia, but on the entire continent. I'm unaware of another station that can match 10 tracks found here. When I first transferred lines here on the way to Trista, the amount of people I saw really threw me for a loop. You see, this is what I'm talking about. Like, they want it to seem lively. And they're trying to te mask it with these with the text of the characters saying. But they're not doing a, uh, a great job in showing that. But it's not surprising that there aren't as many folks around this early in the morning. Yeah, okay, yeah. That's another way to mask. That's another way to mask uh, that they're not showing many people. Sorry, I don't think we're going to be able to do this. Hang on, you can't give up already. Huh, how hopeless. Oh, well, don't worry about it too much. The most important thing is that we all come back safe and sound. Everything else is secondary. I, I suppose you're right. We'll try and keep things from getting too dangerous at least. <clears throat> anyway, this is where we split up. If you're traveling toward Ordis, Ordis, you'll be heading west, right? Indeed. Meanwhile, Group A will need to travel northeast to Roar first. I'm so jealous you get to visit Gaia's homeland. You better tell us all about it when you get back. Will do. Take care, everyone. B, Laura, you both take care too. Um, we'll see you all next week. Quite. Mm-hmm. Is someone watching us? <sighs> Sounds like Sharon. No, that's... That's Reen's sister. It is. It's our sister. That's Elise. Yeah, at least as, you, as she just said there. Just some rich-looking friend. I don't know who she is, though. Your Highness. So she's in Heimdaller. <笑>知り合いね。それはさ、否定しないんだ。あなたのお兄さんがかっこいいってことは。ん、もう知りません。全く姫様は教えるんじゃありませんでした。嘘嘘、怒らないで。お詫びにマリアージュクロスの新作を
You'll be in the Nord Highlands, surrounded on every side by mountains. Other than the Imperial Army's bases, the only place you'll find people is in the nomadic settlements like the one I'm from. If anything, we have more sheep than people. Wow, really? I'm starting to feel like we're traveling to a country locked in time or something. <laughs> Sounds like a scene right out of a picture book. In addition to the scenery, the Nord Highlands are also well known for their breeding and raising of horses. Most of the war horses used by the Imperial Army are descended from the Highland stock. That's true. Horses are essentially uh, are essential to the livelihoods of the folks in my village. Raising horses to be used by the Arabonians is one of my people's primary sources of income. I'm gonna think of it. I seem to remember hearing that the horse that we have at home was raised in Nord too. Isn't that also true of the horse riding in uh Isn't that also true of the horse the riding club uses? Correct. All of them originally came from Nord. Even the gold stallion on the Empire's emblem is said to depict a war horse raised in the Highlands. Or so the story goes, at least. Nord has the deep historical ties to the Empire. We know today that it's where uh, Emperor Drakel first started building his army, after all. That's right. The Imperial Army still maintains a base on the southern edge of the, of the Highlands, then their gate. That's as far as the trains can. That's as far as the trains can take us. I see. We should arrive there somewhere around four in the afternoon, then. Yeah, but it's just past eight a.m. now. We should reach the rower station by midday. After that, we have another four or so hours on the freight train to Nord. Ugh. Looks like we're in it for the long haul. Still, we won't get chances like this often. Let's try and make the most of it. Talk to Alyssa. Not too much longer now. I guess this will be your first time back home since you started at Doors, right? Does it feel a little awkward going back after you ran away from home? A little, yeah. At least we're only changing trains there, so I don't have to leave the station. I haven't been in Rower since I switched lines there on the way to Trista. Oh right, I almost forgot. If you came from Ye if you came from Emir, you had to you had to have gone through Rower. I visited Emir once when I was a kid, but I haven't been there since. I remember it being a really nice place, though. The scenery was so beautiful. Oh, didn't know you'd actually been. Yeah, it really is beautiful. A place that nice doesn't really fit a guy like me. Huh. <laughs> Are you still sulking over what that twit said during our last practical exam? I paid the House of High Arms little, little mind, and they're full of a third son even less. I don't think he meant most of those awful things he said. Yeah. It seemed like his anger just got the better of him. I bet he regretted it. He regretted it later. And regardless of what he thinks, we all think you're a swell guy, as a classmate and as a friend. But don't be so hard on yourself. I. Thanks, guys. It means a lot to hear you say that. <laughs> you're so hopeless sometimes, Rain. Guys is such a. He's such a great guy. Talk to Emma's. Emma, not Emma's. Easy to forget, but in traveling, but in traveling to the Nord Highlands, we'll actually be leaving the country. <laughs> it feels strange heading out beyond our borders. A little emotional, even. Yeah, we even got a long journey ahead of us. I can only wonder what kind of things they'll have us doing when we get there. I can't even begin to imagine. Each month seems to throw us something new at us. I am a little worried about how Fee is holding up, though. Yeah, there's definitely still something going on between her and Laura, but I'm not sure there's anything we can do about that. I'm sure Elliot and Machias will keep an eye on those two for us. We've got our own battles to face. I'd like for us to all come back from this trip in one piece. You're right. Of course. Talk to you, sis. The horses of the Nord Highlands are known for being some of the finest on the continent. Their solid builds, high endurance, and steadfast loyalty to their masters they truly are the ideal steeds. The Highlands are far from the only place that raises horses, but the horse from the Nord are all in a class of their own. Sounds like you couldn't find the better horse if you search across the Empire. Though now I can see why Arthur, why Arthur is such an impressive specimen. Who? Oh, Arthur's the horse that we have back at home. My dad would often ride him out hunting with our old dog Badu. Or Badu, I don't know. Back when I was a kid, he'd lift me up on his back and let me ride around. 
a sea. This would be an excellent opportunity to learn more about the Empire's finest horses or learn more about the Empire's finest horses are raised at their stores. Okay. This seemed like a weird text there, but okay. Wow. Seems like he's really into this. And finally, let's talk to Gaius. Oh, here's a cypher, sore eyes. Haven't I soaked in scenery like this since... Haven't soaked since... Uh, haven't soaked in scenery like this since I first came to Trista. <laughs> I hope everyone in the settlement is doing well. He seems happy to be headed home. I've always been curious. How did you end up coming to Thoris anyway? Well, about a year ago. I met a general in the Imperial Army up in Nord. One thing led to another, and he ended up giving me a recommendation to attend the academy. He was strangely adamant that my skill for spear would come in handy during the time at Thoris. Guess he was right. I can see why an Imperial General might take an interest in your spearmanship. Our, caval our, ca our cavalry's lance and spear training has its origins, not just in the tales of the Eisenritter, but in the traditions of the Highlands as well. Oh. That's pretty interesting. It's it's just recently it's just recently that I've been learning about how far back the connection between Nord and Erebonia goes. Indeed. Alright. Let's save our game and let's see if we can win one game of Blade. Challenge Alyssa. Okay. Do do do. I can get rid of the one that way. A uh, game. Oh, I have to press X. Probably gonna mirror this. You're gonna mirror it. Oh! Okay. Let's flip. Even if it is just one. Oh, that's a flip. Tied. Uh oh. I don't know what the what your cards are, so I'm making sure. If she has a bolt or a mirror, I lost. I won. I won my first game of Blade! Woo! Nice! You barely get much XP from them, but... Heck yeah, we won. I will do this too. Oh my gosh. Give me that. Uh... I'll tie it. God, of course it is. <laughs> tie it again. This is rough. Lord, help me. If she gets anything higher, I lost. Yeah, I lost. 
Oh my god, she was gonna win no matter what. Alright, Yusus, can I beat you? Jesus. Should I? Then she could bolt it, probably. And then I recover it. Probably. I'll do it. Oh yeah, I was gonna tie. God dang it, I forgot. That was a bad play. Recover it. Recover it. Mirrors? Okay. I can also mirror as well. Not giving up. Ooh. Bolt that. Ooh! Admit the feat. <laughs> We're winning now. And let's finally <laughs> challenge Gaius. That was a lot of high numbers. <laughs> I have the potential to win this. Nice. I do not have uh, a recovery spell, unfortunately. Okay. Mirrors? I can mirror that. That's pretty good. I'm gonna bolt. <laughs> Recovers it. Not bad. Let's swap. Okay. I win again! Three out of the four. We won three of the four. Look at the improvement, guys. Who said we were never going to win a game of Blade? Me? No, never. Never. Absolutely not. We won. <laughs> All right, let's stop talking. All right, we're going to be going to Rower, which should be interesting. This is the place I've been looking forward to, to be honest. Hold on a second, guys. Doing a quick, uh... Doing a quick, um... Advertisement of the stream. Okay. Because I wanted to advertise it earlier when we hit the one and a half hour mark, but I didn't want to advertise this... Advertise it and then people come in. Potentially, and then we'll, we'll just watch me play a card game. Anyways, it's not the most interesting to watch. Like, it's... I try to make them entertaining, but, you know, it's obviously something not interesting to just watch in general. But, anyways. The Ministry of Railways wishes to thank all passengers for their patronage. This special express line is bound for Rower. Our next stop is Rower, the terminus of this express line. Please ensure you have all of your belongings with you when you when disembarking the train. Ah, here we are. This is my first visit to the Empire's Industrial Metropolis. 
Actually, it's my first time too. Well, I passed through when I first came to the academy, but even then I could see why people feel as why people associated with industry. It feels like the whole city's one big mass of iron. Yeah, it really does have that vibe. What are those cone-shaped towers out in the distance anyways? Oh, those are for the orbital generators, the industrial plants. There are a ton of large factories in the city, so they need to create all the orbital energy needed to power them. Wow, really? If I weren't seeing it for myself, I'd be hard-pressed to imagine a city like this. Okay, all industrial-like, very iron-based, okay. They have a huge tower. Two huge towers, actually. Remember, this is also the home of Rainford Company, which means there's going to be a ton of uh, vehicles and, you know, stuff like that. A bunch of vehicles, weaponry, if there's any that we're going to see here. All that sort of stuff. Well, we finally made it as far as Rower. We'll need to transfer to a freight line to reach the North Highlands from here, right? Right. There'll be a freight train leaving from Platform 4 that we need to board. Platform 4 is up the stairs and adding to the left, I think. Alright. Let's not waste any time, then. Alright. Ooh, a map of the whole game. Can we finally see this map? I wish I could put it up on the screen better, but... All right, so Trista's right there. Okay, I see Trista. Can we see anything to the bottom left? No. So our friends went west to the left of Heimdallr. That's where we split off. Oh, we went up. Okay. Green's hometown is up there in Emir. So we would take another... Yes. Another route to go up there. Zender Gate, which is where the Nord Highlands are. That's exactly where uh, we're going to be going right now. There's an iron mine here in the rural area. Well, I guess it's like in between all of them. We went to Gorelia. F no, we didn't go to Gorelia Fortress. Orox Fort, where Burial Hard. We went to Burial Hard. That was the first place we entered in the game. No, no, no. We Keldic was the first. There's Burial Hard and Legrim down there. Warox Fort. Burial Hard is Alborea. The Alborea town where Eusis is from. It was an abandoned path that we didn't get to check. Maybe that abandoned path is uh, Gorelia Fortress or maybe Legrim? Who knows? Anyway, it looks like Emir. Emir. And if we don't get to explore. Rower, then Rower. So, Emir, Rower, Heimdallr, and Legrum, and Gorelia Fortress are the main three land, or the main landmarks, I mean to say, that we have not yet visited. Then there's other things in the, there's other things like the Iron Mine up here, and the Abandoned Path down there. Okay. Anyways, let me save the game. Let me stop wasting time. I've always wanted to see the map of the place, but there's been no way of checking a map. There's like no map at all in this game. Yeah, there is no map in this game. Oh, hey, look, it's another one of the maps. Schedule for the train. Come to think of it, it's already past noon. Perhaps we should purchase some lunches for the rest of our journey? Sounds like a plan. We still have another four hours to go. We're going to need to eat something between now and dinner. It seems highly unlikely a freight train will be equipped with vending machines or other such comforts either. We'll need to go through the ticket gate then. There's a shop in the main part of the station that sells pre-packed lunches. Is that Sharon? Haha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Sharon. 
手によりをかけたお弁当を用意いたしましたどうぞお召し上がりくださいどうも That is a very, a very good question. How did she get here before us? She clearly didn't board our train, for example,、um, because she, it would have been no time for her to make these, these lunches. Received a special pack lunch for each member of the group. ラインフォルト家のメイドは主人を驚かせるのが趣味らしい。大方テートで、定期飛行機を飛行機を飛行機を飛行機を飛行機を飛行機を飛行機を飛行機を飛行機を飛行機を飛行機を飛行機を飛行機を飛行機を飛行機を飛行機を飛行機を飛行機を飛行機を飛行機を飛行機を飛行機を飛行ありがとうございます。ありがたくごちそうになろう。ま,まったく、何か企んでるかと思ったら、このままノルド高原まで来るつもりじゃないでしょうね。い,いえ、実はこの後、別のお仕事が入りまして、トリスタに戻るのも少々遅れそうな見込みです。別の仕事私の仕事の手伝いをしてもらうことになったのよ。Oh, is that Alyssa's mom? It is! Looks just like her. そしいわね、アリサ。そして、そちらが七組の面々というわけね。アイリーナ、レインフォード。アイリーナ、レイン。アイリーナ、イリーナ。イリーナ、イリーナ。アイリーナ、イリーナ。アイリーナ、イリーナ。アイリーナ、イリーナ。アイリーナ、イリーナ。アイリーナ、イリーナ。アイリーナ、イリーナ。アイリーナ、イリーナ。アイリーナ。Of the Rainford Company, for goodness sakes. That's a name. The Rainford Company is literally a name that we've been hearing since t r u s t in the Sky. So it's not something just, you know, it's not some small thing just based on this game or something big that's just in this game. It's like, it's been big since t r u s t in the Sky. ミシリオキオネガオカ。まあ、せいぜい、不祥の娘と仲良くしてやってちょうだい。仕事があるのでこれで失礼させてもらうわ。シャロン、行くわよ。かしこまりました。会長。はっ。いい加減にして。いつもいつも、そうやって仕事ばかりを最優先して。勝手に家から飛び出した娘に何か一言くらいはないわけお嬢様。It did get the impression her relationship with her mother wasn't all sunshine and gumdrops. It seems there's a lot of friction between them. あなた自身の人生、好きに生きればいいでしょラインフォルトを継ぐことを強制する気もないわ。あの人のように、勝手気ままに生きるのも悪くはないでしょそれにあなたの学院生活も最低限のことは把握してるわ学院からの月ごとの報告でねシャロンが母様に報告するのは当然覚悟はしてたけどその学院からの報告ってああ言ってなかったかしらトールズ士官学院あなたたちの学院の常任理事は。So, Rufus and Irina.、Uh, they said that there's four of them in total. So, Rufus, so, 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 今回の特別実習についてもまあ期待させてもらいましょうそれではお嬢様皆様もどうかお気をつけていってらっしゃいませあアリサさんあ大丈夫か
She doesn't seem like a terrible person. Like, Eustace's Yus dad was terrible. Like, absolutely ter like, terrible, terrible. But, like, she didn't seem bad. She just seemed to have just work and work and even more work on her mind. Damn it. I thought I'd finally had her out of my hair. But it looks like she was the one, she was one step ahead of me this whole time. Um... I... I take it you and your mother aren't on good terms then? Yeah, I think that much... I think that much was abundantly clear. Things have been rocky between us for a long time now. Once I left home, that was the first step that led me to enrolling in the academy. But how was I supposed to know I'd gone and signed up for the... I signed up for the school that she sits on the board of directors of? How could I have been so stupid? Why didn't I conduct a more thorough investigation before I made my choice? I... I don't know what to say. You have her sympathies, I suppose. Is your mother being on the board of directors really such a problem? Um... Well, it's complicated. Usually she seems like she's only interested in her work, but then she'll suddenly start meddling in my life. She says to do just what I want, to just do what I want, but it always turns out that wherever I go, she's there ahead of me. Just like today. Ugh. I should have known something was up. The bank account my grandfather gave me to cover my academy expenses hasn't taken a dip since my first day at Doors. So your mother's been paying your bills the whole time? It does seem like a strong possibility, especially considering her presence on the board of directors. Hmm. I can see why you're so I can't see why you're so grousing about. Most people will be grateful to have a parent display that much interest. What? At least your mother spared the time to come and greet us. At least she showed the slightest trace of interest in you and your classmates. Oh. Useless. <laughs> Forget it. Exactly. That's exactly what I'm seeing. That's exactly what I'm, I'm, I'm literally trying to point out to you guys as well. Like, Useless has it way worse. Like, what the... Well, I don't know why Alyssa... Currently, currently, I don't know why. Alyssa's like, ah, I don't want this. It's just like, why not? <laughs> like... If your student loans or whatever are not killing you, your your bank account's not going in the red or anything like that, and it's all because of your the support that you're being given, like why not? Like why not? Take it, take it. Well, we just entered a tunnel, the first of many. Now that we're going through the mountains, oh, now that we're going through the mountains, I see. Anyway, how about we dig into those lunches Sharon made for us? That sounds good to me. Seems like she went out of her way to prepare them. Alright. <laughs> if these are subpar because she had to make do with the airship's kitchen, I won't let her hear the end of it. <laughs> well then, let's dig in. Okay, the iron mine's over there. Okay, so that's an actual location to take. Wow! You're going to the Highlands for an academy field study? No, oh, sounds like you're budding. So sounds like you budding soldiers do some pretty interesting things as a part of your training these days. <laughs> I suppose you could say that. Doris seems quite different from most other military academies in that regard, though. Still feels pretty neat to see you all dressed up in your uniforms. They look pretty sharp on you. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Even at the academy, Gaius always stands out because of his height. Yeah. He towers over even the second years. Are all of the people in your settlement of a similar height? Nah. I'd say my dad is the only one who really has a height on me. My younger brother is fairly short, though. I wouldn't doubt he has another growth spurt coming his way. I seem to remember you mentioning you have quite a few siblings. A younger brother and two younger sisters, to be exact. They're a little on the shy side, but I hope you'll get along with them. <laughs> and do. Still... If you look through the window, it really feels like we're getting close to the Highlands now. Indeed. Man, seeing you kids rushing off on some adventure kind of makes me jealous. Anyway, we're about halfway through the Isengard range now. We should reach Sender Gate in two hours or so, so take this time to relax. Thank you. We appreciate the info. 
feel like if the conductor made his way to us, that means we're like the only people here. <laughs> Did you meet him back in the spring when you were on your way to Trista? Yeah, made the same trip back then too. We had plenty of time to kill, so he taught me a lot about the Erebonian culture. <laughs> Sounds like a pretty nice guy. I'll bet that served as a pretty useful primer. It did. There are a lot of people I'm thankful for coming for helping me come to the uh, for helping me come this far. Most of all, I'm thankful to the winds and the goddess. The winds and the goddess. <laughs> Classic Gaius. Nord Highlands. There's two locations after that. Hey, that looks like we ought to be coming out of the last tunnel any time now. I see. Alyssa, Eusis, we're almost there. Ah! ah. Mm hmm? Oh! We're, just, we're on the border of the country now. So, so this is... I can only just make out... I can only just make it out in the distance, but it looks like that's it. So that's the Nord Highlands. I'll admit, it appears even more breathtaking than I was expecting. I'll be even happier to hear what you say, so once you've seen it up close. Happy to hear, I'll be happy to hear you say so once we see it up close. Sixteen thirty, two thirty. I'm sorry, not two thirty. A uh, four thirty, four thirty. And there we go. Sender gate. This almost looks like the gate that we were at, uh, the fortress or whatever that we were at the in the uh, the prologue of the game. Although I feel like that prologue of the the game, the very beginning introduction, was at Gorelia. That's my guess. We'll see. Ah, you've arrived. It's a pleasure to see you again, Lieutenant General. Likewise. It's been months since I last saw you. It seems almost surreal to see you standing there in a military academy uniform. Though this is the first time I've seen the Thor's ensemble in red. This is the color they use for my class. Class 7. Looks like he's pretty high up in the Imperial Army. Yeah, I'm betting he's the Lieutenant General in charge of Zender Gate. Seems quite close to guys. I think this is the guy who uh, recommended him to uh, to uh, the Academy. Because he did say that. An Imperial General for an eye patch. That seems familiar somehow. These must be your classmates. Indeed, these are about half of my classmates from Class 7. I'm Reen Schwartz, sir. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Alyssa Rainford, sir. I'm Emma Milstein, sir. Yusis Alberea. It's an honor. <laughs> Seems like your classmates are an interesting bunch as I'd heard. Lieutenant General, Dex Vander. Ooh, a Vander, so... He's a Vander. Isn't that the last name of, um... The guy from Chosen the Sky? God, I forgot his name. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I'm Zex Vander, commanding officer of the Imperial Army's 3rd Armored Division. Pleased to finally meet you. One-eyed Zex! So you're one of the guardians of the Arnor family. Oh, it seems you already know of me? A guardian of the Arnor family? Ah, now I remember. The Vanders are a celebrated military family responsible for the protection of the Imperial facility. Our Imperial family. And one eyed Zex Vander is said to be one of the Imperial Army's finest generals. They say Vander and the Arsaid schools of swordsmanship are the most renowned styles in Erebonia. It's truly an honor to meet you, sir. Haha. <laughs> I'm just a military man, hardly deserving of that quiet level of praise. I'd love to hear all about you and your excursions in the Highlands, but unfortunately we don't have the time. You should set out as soon as you po as soon as possible if you want to reach the settlement by nightfall. I agree. Were you able to take care of all of the arrangements? I did. Rest assured. What 
arrangement. We need to head out now if we want to reach Guy's home by sundown, right? Right. Which is why I asked Lieutenant General to arrange some transportation for us. <laughs> Alright. Just follow me and I'll show you the way. God, I don't know. I don't remember. There's a guy from Trust in the Sky. Someone else from the army. I think he started with the letter M. His name started with the letter M. Oh, wow. Power over there. Nord Highlands. It's simply breathtaking. I had no idea a land so beautiful lay at the far end of the railway. Honestly, I suppose words are woefully insufficient in the face of such majesty. <laughs> Glad to hear you think so. The horse? Horses. This is our transportation. Horses. Are you saying we're to travel to the settlement on horseback? The highlands are way too vast to cover any reasonable length on t of time on foot. You'll be fine. You're a member of the riding club, and Reen and Alyssa both have riding experience, right? Yeah, I think I can manage. I learned back at home. They should be okay as long as we aren't making any trick jumps or anything. Um, I'm afraid I've never ridden a horse before. Not a problem. You can just hitch a ride on the back of someone else's horse. Alyssa will probably be the best choice considering the balance of weight. I can do that. Is that alright with you, Emma? Yes. Although I do feel a little nervous. Let's mount up at once then. Interesting. Okay, steady now. This is a fine horse. Are you doing okay back there, Emma? Yes, I'm fine, I think. <laughs> Make sure to hold on tight when we start moving. <laughs> this should be a fun trip. They're all top quality horses raised here in the Highlands. At a good clip, you should be able to reach the settlement in under an hour. Oh, and before I forget, I'm sure guys won't have much need of this, but the rest of you should take a map of the Highlands. A map? Receive Nord Highlands map. Wow! Okay, let me look at this. So we're at Zender Gate right now, which means we have the Stone Circle, the Watchtower that I saw, past all that is the Nomadic Settlement, which is where guys is from. At Stone Circle that we saw also. So we saw both of these in the little... Uh, uh, landscape view that it gave us a second ago. A past guys' home is a colossal statue and the Lake Lacrima. Lake Lac Lacrima or something like that. And at the fair at the far end is an ancient quarry. Okay. Such a high level of detail. It's as though the army surveying expertise is being put to good use. Indeed. I hope it'll prove useful to you during your field study. Thank you very much, sir. Alright, that's about it from me. You should be heading out. May the blessing of the winds and the goddess be with you. Give my regards to the Elder and Lacan. We will. Thank you for seeing us off, sir. If you'll excuse us then. <笑>まるで風になったみたい。そ、そうですね。ちょっと怖いですけど。まあ、時期に慣れる。しかし、馬術部の連中に羨ましがられそうな体験だな。確かに。俺の故郷は北東に向かった先にある。日没までに何とか
and make sure that we don't get hurt. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like what if uh, someone got hurt? Like, someone fell off the horse, like Emma. Like, that would suck. Like, what would we do at that point? How to ride the horse. Horseback riding controls are largely the same as for the regular movement. There's a left stick to move and dash by pressing R1. Okay. That's something over there? Oh no, it's not. Okay, let me save the game. We have a lot to explore, Jesus. It's a little overwhelming, but that's fine. No, it's not a big deal. We will go and explore, but give me a second, guys. I am going to use the restroom, so I'll be right back. Uh, do not go anywhere, guys. I'm going to go ahead and be BRB for like two minutes. <laughs> BRB, guys.
All right, I am back, and I realized I did not put the BRB screen. <laughs> uh, it's fine, it's fine, it's not a big deal. I just gotta make sure I remember to do that next time. Anyways, sorry it took, uh, took a little bit. I went and grabbed also a little bit of a snack, and also got my, uh, claimed the, uh, the cup. I had soda with me, which I finished off, so now I just have water with me. That is totally fine, now we're pretty much set for the rest of the night, hopefully. Um, or is there any treasures that we can find out here? It seems pretty ridiculously overwhelming. Right there is where the uh, stone settlement thing is, and yeah, the watchtower over there. I just, I just need to know if there's any chests or anything like that I should... You know, keep a lookout for. <laughs> what about this? What's this? I can't dismount. I don't think I can really check anything out yet. So, which way did we go? Planes are so vast, it's surprisingly easy to lose your sense of direction. True. Maybe it'd help if I showed you a couple of major landmarks to help you get your bearings. Over that way is Zender Gate. That's where we set out from. That landmark over there is Triangular Rock. It's sort of the centerpiece of this part of the highlands. It's so massive. The farther away we can see it from, the better of a landmark it'll be. Oh! What's that building over to the left of it? Oh, that? It's the watchtower built by the Imperial Army in the southeastern part of the Highlands. Heard they built it to keep an eye on the Calvert Republic out to the east. So that's an Imperial watchtower. I suppose it should come as no surprise that the army would want a watchtower here. True. The Highland borders both uh, the Highland border both Calvert and Erebonia, much like Crossbell. Yep. And finally, much like Crossbell. I wish I could I wish I could reread that. Let me read that again. On my restream. The Highlands border Calvert and Erebonia. And Calv and Crossbell. Huh. Okay. If you look toward those mountains, my home is set out in that direction. Ah, gotcha. Let me take another look at the map. Okay. I think I have a better idea of where everything is now. It seems like we ought to keep this map handy until we're more familiar with the Highlands, though. Come to think of it. What are those stone pillars over there? Oh. Now that you point them out, I'm surprised I didn't notice them before. They seem man-made, or at the very least, not the sort of construct nature would leave lying about. Not sort of the construct nature leave would lying about. Okay. There are quite a few similar objects and structures scattered across the highlands. Most folks uh, think that they're what remains of the Neolithic civilization that existed here over a thousand years ago. Wow, that's pretty far back. Hmm. I suppose in that way they're not dissimilar from the amidst, from the am animus ruins in Erebonia. Perhaps not. I'm not surprised you're curious about them, but we should save that discussion for later. Right now we need to reach the settlement before sundown. Right. Okay. Let's ride. Isn't it 4:30 though? Why is there sun why is there a sunset? Can I go up now and check it? I'd have to go around. Uh, I feel like going up there would be a waste. They're not gonna do any. I, I feel like it's just you go up there, you're gonna look at it, and that's all you can do. Look at it. Let's just go to the settlement, like he says. Because I, I am... I seriously doubt the game would not take us to these places. Dang, it, it, if we didn't take the horses, it would have been nighttime. Just heading over here. I can definitely see why they wanted uh, some sort of um, trans mode of transportation for this. Besides the vast freaking walking you would have to do in the first place. No 
nomadic settlement. Wow. So this is Gaius' home, huh? Even though I've never been here before, it feels nostalgic somehow. Indeed, the scenery makes me a little wistful for my own home. You can say that again. Well, we don't exa we don't actually stay in this area all year round. Sometimes between summer and fall, we move to another location farther to the north. I guess why they call you I guess that's why they call you nomads then. Is that why you live in those strange tent buildings? Yep, they're made with thick cloth and designed so we can put them up and take them down pretty easily. Anyway, let me show you to my home first. Then we can go and greet the elder after. Bro! Oh, it's the sisters. Oh, they're so cute. And maybe the brother too. Yeah, the brother too. You finally came back. Welcome home. We missed you. Hey, Lily, Shida, I'm back. Get to see you looking well too, Toma. <laughs> Glad to make it back safe. Good to see you, bro. Thanks. Aw, oh, they really seem to love him. Yeah, watching him makes me wish I had a little brother or sister of my own. It does. Oh, hey. Are these the people you wrote about in your letters? They are indeed. The illustrious, industrious, class 7. Um, nice to meet you. I'm Bur... Er... Uh, Guy's brother, Toma. These are our sisters, Cheetah and Lily. Nice to meet you. Are you bros friends? Sure are. Good to meet you too. I'm Reen. I'm Melissa, and it's lovely to meet you. You're all so cute. I'm Emma. Yusis Alborel. I'm honored. Wow. Y'all seem so Erebonian. <laughs> I'm glad to see you've been blessed with such wonderful friends. Oh, mom, the mom and dad. Is that a... It almost looks like a horn coming out of his dad's... The side of his dad's head. Is that just a place where hair is not growing or what? What is that exactly? Dad. Mom. I'm home. Welcome home, Gaius. It's a pleasure to finally meet you all. I'm Gaius Mutter, Fatma. Fatma? I think Fatma. I feel like... I feel like that sounds better. His mother? But... But you look so young. <laughs> Flattery will get you everywhere. I'm Gaius' father, Lacan Wurzel. Lacan. 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 Uh, what other game was this... Was Lacan from? Like, obviously not this character, but there was another character in, uh... Was it Lacan? Chrono Cross? Was Lacan Chrono Cross? What did we play before this? What did we stream before this? Xenogears. It was, it was Xenogears, it was Xenogears. Lacan. Yeah, that's right. It was Xenogears. I'm Gaius' father. Lacan Warzel. Or Warzel. I don't know. I'm very glad to meet my son's friends and schoolmates. The pleasure is all ours. Likewise. I've prepared a place for all of you to stay while you're our guests. There's much to discuss, of course, but you should drop off your belongings here... F belongings there first. It will soon be sundown. Come to my home and share in our evening meal. Sounds like a plan. Are we here for two days as well? I don't believe they said two days. I would assume so, though. We'd leave by... It's Friday and we'd leave by Sunday. I like how they made the, the, the food uh, very, like, bubbly. It makes it feel uh, better than just seeing some weird... Uh, no image, you know what I mean? <laughs> this is delicious. See, like, look at the look at the rice that's at the bottom of uh, in between like uh, Eusis and Emma there. Uh, at the very bottom with the 
I think that that look kind of looks like rice. Like half of it looks like rice, but it's like just a still image. But like the one in the middle is bubbly, and it gives off a a sort of like smell, like the heat coming off of it. So it feels more more alive, more realistic. I guess I should say is the better word. This is delicious. How did you get it to taste so good? We season the pheasant meat with herbs and rock salt and then wrap and cook it up. It's made to the taste of us Highlanders. I wasn't sure if you Erebonians would like it. All I can say is I'll be wanting second soon. These grilled skewers are really good too. You've got this deep, rich flavor. Oh, those are kebabs. We just stick some lamb meat on a skewer and grill it. Food here is exquisite. I've never tasted it. I've never tasted its like. I must feel sorry that the rest of our class isn't here to enjoy it. I'm glad you think so. Here I was worrying that the that the taste might not agree with you. <laughs> Everyone loves mommy's cooking. No doubt you're all tired from your long journey. Nord cuisine is effective at easing fatigue. It's important when you travel as much as we do. Can see why I've already I already feel more relaxed maybe I should get these recipes so I can teach them to Sharon um try some of this tea too we make it with local herbs it's supposed to be good for digestion oh thank you I, I think I will it has a very gentle taste it's stuff like that is what I was saying in one of the er, earlier streams of this game. Is I, I, thanks to Grandia, I've been spoiled. Uh, Grandia one, uh, Grandia two as well does it, but I think Grandia one did it better. Um, I most games, most JRPGs like to skip the the part where you're just you know eating with your friends, and it just cuts to a black screen and be like, ah, that was a good meal, and then they you know talk about whatever they're gonna talk about next. But thanks to the Grandi games, they really spoiled, spoiled me into thinking like, man, I wish more games didn't skip it. Like, obviously this one, um, they're tasting some different food. So they, they wanted they wanted to like show off that they eat, uh, um, show off the information that they eat different food and that people that are, you know, from the city may not enjoy such, you know, such tastes but like um at the same time um you just, obviously they were meant to show that off that side of the country um countryside off but it'd be nice if they could also show more of those like yeah we're eating right now but we're also talking about important stuff too over you know a good meal so like stuff like that i feel like it's i feel like stuff like that is like i wish they didn't skip those more. I wish they actually showed those off more. I don't know. That's just me. I, I, if you guys play Grande, you guys would know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> the land of Nord is nothing if not a free country. I have no doubt your time here will make for a very unique experience. Though not without inconveniences here and there. Still, these islands have, ve have plenty of history of your own homeland. Might you be, might you be referring to the story of Emperor Drake Hells? We've been learning in class how during the war of the Li we've been learning in class how during the war of the lions he first started gathering his army here in Nord. That's right. Tales of Emperor Drakel's exploits are passed down here in Nord too. After the war ended, he became Emperor of Erebonia and swore eternal friendship with the people of Nord. That friendship has held strong to this day, and I pray it will continue. F it will continue far into the future. I see. While the people of Nord are not counted as true Erebonians, they are still regarded as our close neighbors and allies. That's about how it shakes out. Though recently, the Calvert Republic has been creeping into the southeastern highlands. They've been trying to cultivate a good relationship relations with the people there. But the Republic's forays into the highlands have, cre have certainly created some tension. The Empire and the Republic are old foes after all. Thankfully, we've managed to avoid any armed conflicts in the last few years. Although politically and economically, relationships between the two are only growing worse. It seems likely that simmering conflict is what led to that incident in Crossbell last month. 
no doubt an outgrowth of the ongoing conflict between pro-Calvardian and pro-Erebonian forces in their government. So it seems. Be that as it may, to both countries, Nord is a remote region of relatively little importance. While there is a military presence in the highlands, that is not something you should have to worry during your stay. Just try to focus on your field study while you're here. We'll do what we can. You must be the one who chose our task for this month's field study, right? Indeed I did. Though the hour is already late, I'll give you your tasks in the morning. As for the area you'll cover in your study, I think it would be wise to focus on the southwestern plains tomorrow morning. The southwest, huh? We crossed that area in our trek here today, I believe. Yeah, the highlands are a vast, wide open space. They extend well past the northern end of the settlement, too. But let's just start with the north, with the southwestern plains. Sounds good to me. Yeah, like I was saying, we're gonna go to the, that one uh, rock formation that I talked about, and uh, get to that uh, fortress, uh, that uh, not the fortress, the um, the watchtower that I was talking about as well. Sounds good to me. So everything we've got on the agenda for tomorrow will be in the southwest? Exactly. Try and be back at the settlement around noon, Gaius. I'll give you the remaining tasks after our midday meal. Got it, Dad. Anyway, here I am talking your ear off when I should be get letting you get some rest after your long day. We rise before the sun here, so sleep well. Morning will come sooner than you think. Place we prepared for your, place we prepared for you, for you, for you as beds ready. I was about to say for your beds, for your has beds, or your you has beds. Can you show them the way, guys? Sure thing. I want to show them the way too. But me too. Come on, I'm sure Bro can handle it on his own. <laughs> Thank you so much for the meal. Good night, everyone. Sorry, I know you girls probably would have preferred separate rooms, but this is what we've got. Oh, don't worry about it. Green and Eustace are both gentlemen, after all. We have nothing to worry about. <laughs> but of course. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Wow, Alyssa didn't refute that statement for the first time. So you'll be staying over at your family's place, then? My sisters both insisted on it. I couldn't turn them down. Will it be alright if I come in and wake you guys up at sunrise? Yeah, that sounds fine. I feel like I'm going to fall asleep the moment my head hits the pillow. By all means, get your beauty sleep. Alright. Pleasant dreams, everyone. Good night, Gaius. He's quite the fortunate man. I thought the same thing while we were eating dinner. He's got those adorable siblings, two parents who really... He's got those adorable siblings, two parents who really care about him. I can see where Gaius gets his calm and level-headed personality. Part of a caring family, growing up side by side with nature like this, it's like he couldn't have turned out any other way. <laughs> True enough. Anyway, it sounds like we've got an agonizingly early wake-up call coming our way. We should get some sleep. No objection from me. I'm exhausted. I feel like I'm going to fall asleep on my feet at this rate. <laughs> well, let's get dressed for bed and turn off the lights. See what we got. Oh, it was already uh, Saturday. This is counts as day two. Oh. <laughs> All you just hear the animals out there. I feel surprisingly energetic. Maybe it's the clean air or that great food we had yesterday. I wonder if Master Kafai trained out in the wilderness like this. 
Look at that. Look at that. Look at the outfit. Look at that. Can we keep this outfit so we can use it whenever we want? Like, can we please unlock some outfits? ここ。This is delicious. I concur. Is it a kind of milk porridge? Well, I guess. You make it with sheep's milk and salt cured meat. She and Lily made it fresh for you themselves. Yeah, I helped. Wow, that young and you're already better cooks than me. I really need to get this recipe from you too. Uh oh, okay. Well, first thing you do is... Your friends all seem like such nice people. It would seem the winds have blessed you with their guidance. I think so too. Okay, let me give you this. Field study envelope for June. Field study day one, morning. Assigned task. It says morning in particular. Check with the side quest as always first. Uh, deliver something to the soldiers in the Imperial Watchtower. Okay. The trading post. Alright, this first main quest is a ingredients for an important medicine. I would like to request to obtain them. Come speak it is in their house. And then uh monster extermination gate. Or the Zender Gate for more information. Okay. I like what says be prepared for battle. So the moment we get there it should probably be an instant battle. Let's see. We'll be helping gather some medicinal herbs. And oh, there's even a request from Zender Gate. Looks like you've chosen tasks that will help us become familiar with the highlands. That's the idea. I put a lot of thought into choosing tasks that would give you a nice sweeping overview of my li of life here. As I said yesterday, you should be able to complete all of the requests in the southwestern reaches of the highlands. Understood. Thanks again. Alright, we've got work to do. We'll need to finish all of these tasks and return here by noon. Yup. We've been having lunch back here in the settlement. Also, I wouldn't recommend leaving the settlement without a horse. The highlands are vast. I'd hate if any of you got lost or collapsed out there because you headed out on foot. That's true. We'd best pay heed to where we're going. Heh. <laughs> May the blessing of the winds and the goddess be with you. Take care, everyone. The settlement contains three useful facilities. The Elder's Home acts as an orbital factory. The Trading Post acts as a weapon and armor shop. The Lodging Yurt allows you to rest. Visit them whenever you need. Okay. Gaius can now use the S-Craft Calamity Hawk. Nice. And I have Gaius on the main team, so that's nice. This is the resting place, right? Oh, she gave us the milk porridge. The recipe for it. I actually really like the way, uh... Sleeping here doesn't look bad. The beds look pretty good. But also, I love that the curtains are just drawn over you. You're not gonna get any crazy, like, light pouring in or anything like that. It's like the top... Obviously, this is just a video game, but the top, this is, um, he said that this is, like, all cloth-based or whatever, so you can, like, put these away. So, you know, sun's gonna go through from the roof, which is how the building mostly gets its lighting from, with a little bit of light from these lamp from these lights. But, it's a little bit covered up with some of the curtains here, so you don't get so much light in your face, and all you can do is just focus on your sleep, which is also really nice. I like this a lot. Also, more beds here that didn't get used. Alright. 
I guess this is not one of the places to rest or do anything in. Alright, let's save here. Alright. It's just a... Okay, it was a regular home. I was already going to go to the trading post first, so... That's something I could do. But I guess let's check out this lodging. Is there anything in particular about it? See, I like this a lot. I love how the curtains just drape over you like that. I like that a lot. I thought she was dressed a little exquisite there for this place, but no, no, no. Doing pretty, pretty much the same thing. This is where one of our main quests is. Let's hold off on that. We even have a vehicle here. Oh yeah, it says it right there, Reinfurt. All right, trading post first. This is our settlement store. We've recently started selling Erebonian weapons and tools from Zender Gate to hunt with. Sounds like we'll be using this place a lot while we're here. They seem to have a wealth of traditional accessories and ornaments, ornaments from Nord too. Indeed, they're all rather lovely. Hmm, I might come back myself later. Pretty sure I'll be able to find a nice souvenir here. Oh? And just who exactly are you sending that souvenir to? My sister. I thought it'd be a good way for her to get on, uh, uh, to get on her good side for once. We really, we rarely get to see each other anymore since she started attending Saint Australia. Saint Australia. Oh, right. I forgot you also had a little sister. <laughs> I'm somewhat jealous that she has such a thoughtful brother. Oops. Alright. Oh, hello there, Gaius. I have to admit, I'm still rather surprised at just how many people you've gotten to know while you've been gone. I'm glad I've got to meet them all. <laughs> I'm happy that everyone thinks that way. Nice to feel welcome, isn't it? Agreed. By the way, your, your kilt. Kilt? Kilt? I'm gonna say kilt. Your kilt, right? I think you put in a request for us? That's me. As you can see, we've got a respectable range of stock here. We even trade with people outside the settlement. That said, the delivery I want you to make isn't really related to any of that. Do you have the time to do it right now? You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to change the title of the stream. Hold on. There we go. Sorry, sorry about that. That said, uh, I, I read it, already read this. Yes, accept the request. Yeah, we're ready. You're really helping me out here. Thank you. From what I recall, you want us to deliver something to the Imperial Army's Watchtower, correct? What exactly will we will we be delivering? Well, first there's this fresh cheese made from our sheep's milk. Then there's some cured and smoked sheep meat. Furthermore, there's so essentially, you wish for us to deliver food to them. All of which was made here, too. Yes, that's right. We've been on friendly terms with the Imperial Army for a while now, you see. Sharing our, pro pro sharing our produce with them is our way of saying thank you. Considering how delicious the food here is, I'm almost jealous. <laughs> I'm happy to hear that. Well, I'll have to agree with her there. Who should we deliver this to, then? A soldier named Zatz should be... Zatz? Yeah, sure, let's go with that. Should, uh, soldier named Zatz should be standing by the entrance to the watchtower, so hand it over to him. Just tell him I sent you and things should go smoothly. Here you go. That was really easy. Receive the food parcel. Don't worry. We'll make sure they get it. We'll head over there as soon as we can. Yeah, we sure they'll be happy to get all this food too. I'm sure we're going to attract monsters. Probably because of the food smell. Maybe. Quest delivery to the watchtower started. Let's shop. New weapons for everyone here. Um, do I have any except mass? No, I do not. 
much money do I have? Oh, 12,000. Okay, I can buy these weapons. God, I really need stuff for Reen. Because Reen's defensive stuff are way behind. Uh Dang it. <laughs> I'm just like, I actually do need some defense at this point because Rain's defenses are way behind. This is like chapter, what's this, chapter 3? And we're like in the part of the game where we still are rocking all oh, the equipment. Alright, let's do Rain first. Yeah. Okay. Now we'll buy the weapon. And let's sell the stuff. It did not give me much. You just gotta get Emma's weapon. And then the Orbit facility, we can um, get the plus one variants of the weapons. And then get the defensive gear. How much more? How much Mira do we get while, during the fighting of this game? Like, how much Mira does, do weapons drop in this game? I won. I, I, Weapons. Do enemies drop in this game? The accessories are not crazy. Nothing interesting. Okay. Uh, quit. But I'll have to see. If if we get a good amount during the like the drops of the enemies, like the mirror, then I will do a bit of. Farming, a bit of mirror farming, because I've, I'm, I have never been able to buy everything I wanted from equipment shops of each of the towns we've been to, so I might have to start doing that. I've returned. Welcome back, Gaius. Allow me to welcome your school friends too. Welcome back, indeed. I see you all got plenty of rest last night. It wasn't that hard after the warm welcome we received. We may not be here long, but we hope to learn much from the people of Nord. Oh ho! Pleased to have you all here. It's no tradition to treat our visitors like family. So please make yourselves at home here. Oh yes. We'll also find a facility for orbit maintenance here. Please feel free to use it as much as you need. Oh my. Is it that machine over there perhaps? Quite the surprise. Did someone come out here specifically to set this up? You'll see soon enough I guess. Hmm. <laughs> You're welcome to come by should you need anything else. I'll be praying to the winds and adios that you have a pleasant and comfortable stay. Thank you for your concern. We'll have to make the most of our field study after such a warm welcome. I like the resolution I see in your eyes. You've come across some good friends, Gaius. I couldn't possibly agree more. So yeah, like I said, uh... I can at least customize their weapons now. Gaius. Oh, I don't have. Oh, the U materials. Oh my god. The U materials are getting. Well, it's usually more. Wow. So, generally, in all the other Trails games, it's just one U material per weapon. I guess they want to make the U materials a bit more. You know, something more. I guess when you pick it up, you're like, yes, a U-material. Like, wow, a U-material. Because back then it was like, oh, yeah, another U-material. It's like, you've got so many of them. And for each, like, upgrade that you do, it's like, you get, like, um, how do I say it? You get, like, so much U-material to the point that it's, like, no problem at all to upgrade all of your weapons if you have the more for it. The mirror for it. But it looks like they want to... Makes it a little bit harder. We do not need to rest. And literally we... 
did all of this sort of stuff. We can't do anything with this. But we do have some extra stuff here that we can get. Like, we can finally buy a tattoos. Shining? Okay. I just want to read up on the stuff that we, uh, I've never read before. Like, something new to this game. Earth Pulse is pretty good. But it's just one person. HP regen. Flame Tongue. Okay. Heat up. Your stat down and restores 5 CP. Just 5 CP? Oh, there's finally... I don't think there was an ARP before. I might be wrong, but I, I don't believe there was an ARP previously that allowed you to cure stat down. Run a break. Lower our speed. Oh, lower the enemy speed and delay them. Pretty good. Okay. <clears throat> I still want to keep. Um. I want to learn. I want to. I want to learn this person. I want to learn about this person. They look so adorable. Um. Like I said, we were not going to be doing anything Orb Mint related right now because we did all of that beforehand. All that's left now is to get there, pick up our main quest and head off. Oh, hey there, Gaius. I see your friends from the Academy are here too. Good to meet you all. I'm Ammer. This is Edelman's doctor of sorts. Sounds like a tough job. Even more so if he happens to be the only one here able to fill the position. Yeah, good point there, Eusis. Makes all sorts of medicines for essentially everyone here in the settlement. We're all heavily indebted to him. Come on now, you all do f you all do far more for me than I can do for you. That aside, don't hesitate to stop by again while you're staying here. I'll provide you with anything that you're looking for. Thanks, it should be a big help. We'll be relying on you should the need arise then. Well, that should be enough for the introductions. If it's alright with you, can we move on to the topic of my request now? Of course. Allow me to explain then. I'm in the middle of whipping up some medicine for the horses here, you see. I'd like you to collect the medicinal herb I need for that. Are the horses ill? Oh no, nothing like that. It's more of a vaccine to prevent a certain disease the horses here can catch. So it's an endemic disease then. Yeah. Chances of the disease spreading are always at their highest during the summer because of the intense heat. It's dangerous enough to, to be fatal if we leave it alone. That's awful. You can prevent it with the proper treatment, however, correct? Yes. Which is why I need you to collect some Epona grass for me. Just look for some plants of yellow flowers in the southern region of the northern highlands. Of the highlands, I mean. You shouldn't have too much of an issue finding a Gaius around, at least. In terms of how many I need, I think five should do it. Let me just note that down. Okay, got it. We should make haste, then. Mm-hmm. We'll head out now, Ammer. Thanks, and good luck. Quest turning over a new leaf started. Okay. So it's just out in the open, then. Just randomly. Oh wait, quest. I'm over here like, what am I reading? Oh, it's the main quest, that's right. This one. I did see some yellow flowers, okay. When we were heading here, I saw a couple of them. Alright. Uh, the egg... We could go from the top, but that's not where we're going. Going down... Over here. Right on to the southern region of the highlands, yes. Okay, let's get started. Alright, let's ride. Press the circle button to dismount from the horse in order to mount it again. 
In order to mount it again, approach it and press X. You can also mount your horse from the navigation menu by pressing the triangle button. Use it if you're unsure where it is. In order to enter combat with monsters, simply run into them on the horse or approach them and press X. Alright. I doubt we're going to get advantage though. Yeah, single advantage. There was a little thing that filled up. I want to see what that was. Oh, these guys easily get unbalanced. So that circle that built up, that's just like an aggro meter, right? Probably, I don't know. I didn't move and I got the fight triggered there. Zero arts, that's nice, but you don't have anything like that. Oh yeah, your S-Craft is a uh, large range AoE, okay. What about zero craft? <laughs> well, when are we going to get those? I just want to take these guys out. Poisoned. This one's blind. I don't want to. Well, I don't want to touch that one. Cause it can miss me. So close. As expected, like I said, it's gonna probably miss its attack. Uses leveled up. Level 23 for uses. There's a yellow flower here. Okay, we can collect them on the horse. That's good. Oh, could this be? You got it. This is a pony, a pony grass. Oh, it's lovely. I assume we could just pull this entire thing out? Yeah. We just have to be careful not to damage it. Here, allow me. Guy has carefully pulled out the opponent grass. Received. Well then, that's one down. Only four remain. Get back to searching then. I'm not going to fight every single enemy, but I feel like it's better to just get off the horse. Yeah, you get triple advantage that way. Weak to earth. Earth lance. You missed? There we go. Here's one of the uh, grasses. Yes, pull out the grass. Um... There's a number of them, but we only need five. Hiya! Look at this monster. Maybe this is the... No, it's moving around. It can't be the monster extermination. Especially since we haven't picked it up yet. I'm gonna motivate us. Uh, being blind. You have a, oh, you have a good chance of being blind. There you go. You're blind. What about burn? 
Yeah, it's a low chance. Um, let's buff our, uh, arts attack and arts defense, I guess. What are you weak to exactly? Uh, wind specifically or water? I do have wind, though. Let Alyssa go first. Perfect. 1,650. Or there's an en another enemy I didn't realize. Yes, the counter. Because you're blind. It'll be easy to destroy this guy because he gets easily unbalanced. Eesh. Either way, it's over. Green leveled up, and, and that recover when you level up in this game, you recover your HP and uh, you, you recover your yes. HP, and I think maybe EP as well. Either way, so we don't really gotta you know heal up or anything. We don't have to waste resources on that. Dang. Yes. Yes. <laughs> There's another one of those things there. Here's our next grass. That's three, right? Oh, there's a chest here. So you can't find chests out here. Uh, sure. Are you weak to? Not really weak to anything. Get those guys. That one's frozen, so we don't gotta worry about that one. This one's poison. Let's hit this one then. That one dies to the burn. I'm sure this one dies to the poison. Wow, you live that. This is just. This is just. Jesus. And there's nothing you can do but just sit there and take it. Like that. Jeez. That sucks. 200 of every sepif. So now that I know that there's chests. In the, like, surrounding, like, this area, like, now I have reason to actually go out and explore. Which means now... Oh my god, your, your, your box, your hit detection box is that hard? That large? Okay, water and... <clears throat> yes, the burn. Exactly what I wanted. There's an eddy, another enemy back there I didn't see.
任せてくれ。Sure. <clears throat> All right. That fight's done with. Oh yeah, I need to stop going so fast and see how much Mira uh, enemies drop here. Like, I don't remember exactly. They don't drop Mira probably. They just drop Sephif Mass, right? I think that's how it works in this game. Okay, that's where the next grass is. Obviously, we're on this side. Well, let me do a fight just to confirm that real quick. I, oh, and I start with a crit too? Starting with a crit always reminds me of uh, Trails in the Sky Azure. Oh, Trails in the Sky Azure. What the heck am I saying? Trails, <laughs> Trails Azure. Because, well, I guess both crossbow games. Trails... Was it in, was it in Zero? Might have just been in Azure. No, I feel like it was in Trails from Zero as well. The you got the team rushes and then you got the crits on the advantages for all characters. I feel like it was just... I feel like it was in both games, but I probably just don't remember. And once again, I went too fast and skipped it. I'm never gonna get my... I'm never gonna get my answer. Oh my gosh, your box is huge! I'm just trying to... Alright. Let me just do this. You're weak to wind. That's right, that's right. I can angle it here so I can get that one. Can take out that one, maybe. Sure. Even if it's on the little guy. Oh, it wasn't on the little guy, so that's awesome. Nice. Take the burn on top of the poison? You can stack them. That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's so funny to me. Alright. Uh, both uh, Alyssa and Emma leveled up. Let's get the chest that's here. Is that an equipment chest? Yeah, it is. Saintly Force. Oh, that's something we can actually purchase. Um, It's a single target buff to someone that increases their strength and defense 25% for four turns. Anchor stat down. That's a lot of stuff. That's actually really, really good. That's very good. Although, I already use Reen with uh, Motivate. So I gained half of that already. The rest of it being the cure stat down thing, I can... It, it's pretty cool, but I don't see a reason to put it when I have, like, Motivate, which does the same thing. But that's just me. I can get four here. I want her, I want uh, Alyssa to level up so she can get a third craft. Because... I I want more from her than what I'm doing right now. These guys are weak to water, yes. I can't get the one on the far end. Oh, yes I can with this, actually. Okay, yeah, you get XP. Bonuses, obviously. Yeah, you just get Sephif Mash. You don't get Mira. <laughs> Alright, Eustace levels up. <clears throat> As I expected, you get Sephif Mass for fighting a lot. This wasn't a place to go, but hey, you got a little secret little scene that we could... We could have uh, avoided, if anything. Like, you know, accidentally missed, I guess I should say. Not avoided. Wow, they look even bigger up close. So this is the stone circle we saw on the way to the settlement yesterday. 
I'm so surprised by the size. Well, like I said yesterday, these were supposedly placed here over a thousand years ago. Some say this used to be some kind of ceremonial site, but we don't know much more than that. Hmm. I can't possibly wonder, but, uh, one, I can't possibly but wonder how they could possibly build something like this without the use of modern technology. <laughs> I think it's that sense of mystery that really enchants people. Yes. Let me save and also re-advertise the stream because we're at that point. Let me do that real quick. Okay. Alright, I'm ready. So, um... Flowers in the corner. I'm pretty sure we'll come here for a main quest soon. Pull out the grass. It should be the fourth one. I think. I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Turning on this thing is so bad. Like, watch me turn right. I'm putting right now. That's how slow it is. Obviously, when you're, it's because you're dashing though. So like, if I let go of dash, see how see how hard that is. But when I let go of dash, I have free reign. I gotta come out eventually and start fighting. I accidentally held turbo instead of dash. I gotta get. I want. Like I said, I want to get step of mass. Right here. Target you. I don't know if you'll die, so just to be sure, and we take, we don't take needless damage. I'll do that. Although we did take some damage there. At least it was just rain. So I don't have to heal multiple people. Oh. Yes. It's bright. Well, time's passing by. Just use a tear on me. I need to go overboard. Yes. Alright. We're gonna be turning to the side here. Hiya! Remember we all, we wanna explore everything so that way we we can get all the chests. So even if it, it's faster for us to just go over there so we don't have to go too far from the uh, the main quest or no the side or main quest I forgot I for I don't I gotta see I, I already forgot what the side quest is um I want to be, be able to grab all the chests on the way there though hmm 30 percent chance to burn is not bad She has so much EP. I'm over here like, I should be careful, but be more mindful about my EP usage. And then I look at how much she has and I'm like, oh, maybe I don't have to. There we go. Get back on my horse. Is that? No, I thought that was... Yeah, there's a chest there. Should 
should be easy because they get unbalanced so easily. There we go. Green and Gaius both level up. Man, we haven't learned a craft or anything like that in a while. Monster chest. Let's save right here just in case we die. Although I'm pretty confident because we have S craft. We're gonna motivate. Um, where was it? It was, uh, yeah, in Passion? Let's do Fortuna first. Rhina Cider. I can get them, I can get more people if I do this. Nice. This, this music's so good. Do -do 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 -do. Let's just uh, attack you into Calamity Hawk. You, your AoE is way bigger compared to Reigns, who's not large range, so there we go. We have never seen this trap before. This looks insane! I looked insane. We killed it? Oh my god, we did! Over here, I'm over here buffing us up for like, buffing us up to hell, and I didn't need all that. They actually high five. They're officially 100% warmed up to each other now. Level 23 for Alyssa. Damn it! No, she didn't learn any uh, any crafts. I wanted to learn a craft so bad. We got Flame Tongue. I saw that we were able to purchase that as well, but I didn't purchase it. It gives us... Uh, well, it gives us a passive strength 7, defense 5. That's all really, really good. It's a medium range burn 20%. Okay. It's pretty much Heat Wave. But bigger. Yeah. Uh, I'll take this off of Reen and give him the Flame Tongue. Buff that strength even further. Whew! My gosh. And, uh... Here's our grass. That makes five, I believe. Is that enough, guys? It is. Let's make our way back to hand them over to Ammer. We should get them back to him as soon as possible so we can help the horses. Agreed. Yes. So what is our main... Our side quest again? Oh, go to the watchtower and deliver that. We gotta go to the watchtower for that one main quest anyways. What I'll do is I'll, I'll traverse this area, check it out, see if there's any chests. And then go back to the... To turn that quest in. And then we can go ahead and continue exploring the rest of it. Critical! Alright. Here's a chest as well. Chrono Drive. This was also really good too. I remember wanting to get it. Gives us a, the passive speed plus three and has that amazing uh, medium range AoE with speed 25, movement 50% for four turns. My gosh. That's so good. Wait till I open up those slots, though. Just wait till I get those slots opened up. Zero arts, perfect, because I have this. You're weak to earth. 
And, um, uh, Emma gets to level 25 and learned a new Craft Crescent Shell. It is a support-based ability, a medium range 50% defense up with a magic reflect, so arts gets reflected. Pretty good. Pretty good. Defense 50% is already just good Aya! enough on its own. And then you give arts reflect on top. That's really strong. This is our main quest, right? Not the watchtower? No, the watchtower is for a side quest. Ah. That would make sense then. out this way. Yes, there's one right here. I actually gotta get off. Tiro bomb. Oh my god, a Tiro. Not a Tira bomb. A uh, bomb, but a Tiro. We're getting some... We get, like, endgame items in this game pretty early on, huh? Maybe endgame items are not endgame items in this game. Gotta get back our CP or uh, green there. This one's slightly bigger. Okay. Alright, we got the 200. We gotta get yours now. Blue wave is cheaper too, by 10. No, just go in. Fire doesn't even take it out of the freeze. Kind of funny. Okay. Alright. Because I now I realize the main quest was that way. Let me... Do the side quest then. Let's turn it in. I will be doing a couple of fights here and there. Because I do want to get the Sepith mask like I did like I said. But I'm gonna be turboing all of this. So we don't have to take forever on all this. Useless leveled up. Don't even didn't even see what level it was, but leveled up. I'm just gonna go quick, cause this is a lot. I wanna grind, but at the same time I don't wanna take forever. Here's the chest. EP charge three. Jesus. The items in this place are really well worth it. It really does behoove you to actually go out and explore. Oh yeah, it's small and medium. I could have sworn they were both medium range. Eh. Dang, no one died. Oh, 
I gotta, I gotta cure Alyssa. But she should live for a little bit. But uh, I'm gonna rest up soon. But I wanna, uh, just to be on the safe side. We do have a long way to go. Yes. Those guys probably give a lot of stuff if mass, so I definitely want to fight you guys. Oh my gosh, your hitbox is like so huge, but then like I go out and like try to attack you, and it's not actually that big. Burned. Wind. Extra damage. Those guys live. I'm trying not to ask craft as bad as I really wanted to there. Like, not in that turn, but that first turn. Okay. Nothing over here. Over here is to the watchtower. Here we are. Turned in the side quest. So this is the Imperial Army's watchtower. Seems like they've got the bare minimum in terms of facilities and armaments. Still, it does have that imposing look you'd expect from a military base. Though the atmosphere doesn't seem especially tense. The building itself appears to be relatively new as well. Well, yeah, it was only built around three years ago. Bare minimum or not, it still looks kind of out of place here on the highlands. Anyway, let's have a better look inside. Let me save here as well. I don't know where I saved. Alright, we gotta turn it into this guy. Yawn. Man, I'm bored. Excuse me. You wouldn't happen to be Zats, would you? The one and only. Hey, you're those students from those from Thor's who are on a field study or something, right? So what can I help you with? Actually, we came here to bring you something from the settlement. Oh? Something from Kilt then? Right. Please, tell me it is. Looks like he can't wait to get his hands on what we've got. <laughs> Must have really been looking forward to it. Nah, ha, ha, ha. you can accept you. Yeah, you can say that. Yote's presents are just about the only thing we have to look forward to out here. Thanks a bunch for bringing it. Hand it over, food parcel. Oh, how oh, I waited for this. Thanks again. Well, yeah, since you've come all the way out here, how about I show you the view from up top? Might be useful for that field study of yours. Really? That sounds great. Are you sure we're allowed? <laughs> no problem. Besides, Lieutenant General Zex said to do said to do what we could to make your stay a good one. Here, I'll show you the way. <laughs> well, thanks. Dang, that's that's a huge view. We only went up a small little building, and yet this view looks like we're freaking <laughs> in the biggest tower imaginable. So that's the Republican Army's base. That's the one. Though, as you can tell, it's not exactly a massive outpost. I would beg to differ, to be honest. For one thing, the bulk of their forces are made up of tanks, and tanks do not do too hot out here on the highland, ter highland terrain. That's true. And yet, they built the base up here anyway, just to keep up appearances. It's like a starting up. It's like a staring match between two stubborn children. Y useless. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty spot on. Though lately we've had airships from both armies cruising around here. 
So we can't let our guard too we can't let our guard down too much either. So, if you ask me, the chance of anyone starting a war in, in, in a place like this is pretty much near zero. Anyway, relax and enjoy the view while you're here. I have a, I have a feeling that's not true. Chances like this don't come along very, very often every day after all. Thanks for showing us the way. We're, re we're grateful for the opportunity. Nah, <laughs> glad to hear it. Oh yeah, would you mind giving this to Kilt when you get back to the settlement? Received Erebonian wine. Hmm. What might this be? Oh, it's just a little something from me for sharing her things for me. I'd feel kind of bad if I didn't at least try and give her something in return. Ah, I understand. We'll be sure to pass it along for you. Thanks. Awesome. As they said, let's yes. go back. There's nothing else here for us. I kind of wish there was a little fast travel to get there. But I guess we do got to check out if there's any chest or anything on the top half. So I guess not having one's a good thing for now. Did you see Did you see how that monster just zipped around like that? Yeah, that's the finishing blow. If it's in range of being killed by another hit, it will just kill it for you. With that uh, unbalance. It's like right there, finishing blow. That's one. That's our level two. Pretty sure that's the level two uh, link. Turned around. Turn you so that you'll die upon your turn. I don't like that you moved up. I plan to hit like at least two of you. You're going to die to the burn, but I don't want to take the damage. Uh. There we go. <laughs> we had zero art, so may as well. Yes, we got a craft for Alyssa. Molten rain can now be used. It's a large range AoE. Perfect. I can unbalance enemy. It's just a regular attack. Large range, too. It's our first large range ones, too. When it comes to crafts, I mean, I think. I could be wrong, though. I feel like Eustace has a large one. Or maybe Emma? I forgot. Alright, so we're going back checked and I believe we have all the chests. I would like to hope so. Let's do this fight, I guess. Not much stuff if mass to be really gained from this, but whatever. He's just turning this thing when you're running. Just You have to stop. Okay. It was uh, the trading post. Okay. Oh, did you deliver it already? Yeah. The soldiers we talked to was really happy about it. Uh, he even asked us to deliver this to U.S. Thanks. Green handed over the Erebonian wine. Oh, I I always tell them there's no need for this. Uh, always there's no need for thanks too. I'll let the men have this tonight, then. Right, then. You all saved me a bit of trouble. Not much, but please take this. Ten red beast flesh and ten white beast flesh? Yeah, it's definitely not much. You can't possibly accept this. Exactly. Give me give me Mira. <laughs> That's what I want right now. Oh, please. There's no need to be so modest. You've earned it. Anyway, I wish you luck with the remainder of your field study. Thanks, Kilt. Quest completed. Let me do the exchange. And buy the wep the last weapon for uh, Emma here. 
And uh, next, we'll start working on the defensive gear. Let's start by working on uh, Alyssa's because hers are the lowest right now. So may as well, right? Also, let me sell the older stuff. And that allows me to get this one for Emma. I can sell that one. Do a little bit more fighting and we'll be able to get, um, hopefully the rest of it. Um, do, did I get any U material, by the way? Uh, I guess I can check here. I got six, yes. So I can upgrade two people's weapons to the plus one variant. Uh... Was it your trading post? Was it in here? It definitely was not here. It was the orbman shop, I think. Yeah, 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 of course. That's where, It's always the orbman shops where you do that. That's right. How about, I forgot for a minute. Um. A, do, 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 customize weapon. There we go. We already did Reens. Let's do Gaius. He's the next heaviest hitter. Me as well. Oh, it's four. I forgot. That's not. It's not three. It's four. Okay. Oh, we got guys. So next we'll work on Alyssa's, and then no, 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 Emma. Because Emma's gonna be one of those characters that I, I hope to keep permanently. So whenever the game allows me to choose, I want to have her on my team. And we can rest up, and also we can get the uh, open up some slots here. We did mine and Emma's all fully opened already. I would, I would really like to save opening up slots for, like, um, Elliot and Laura, because those are the characters I would like to bring with me. But so far, the game has, so far, most of the game has been just giving me groups to go in these field studies. Although, I would kind of wish we got to play all together and allow me to choose which characters I wanted. So, I have to use everyone. It's like, I want to open up slots, but at the same time... I want to buy stuff from the shops. Let's buy... A slot from both Gaius and Alyssa. And uh, let me go ahead and put something into one of their slots. I was going to give you an a the attack. Yeah, the attack buff. And I'm going to give you... Alyssa Alyssa doesn't really need the attack one day. I can actually remove that now. But let me see what I can put. Distinctly Force, of course. I use her more as a support. So, Distinctly Force sounds nice to put on. She doesn't... I'll hold on to it for now. Did I do any, any more slots? Um, What can I buy? Hmm. Most of the stuff you do actually do get in the field, so I guess it's not the worst thing that you're spending most of it on slots. It really isn't the worst. And then, like, getting in the chest and get like fighting the monster chest ones as well. They give you like some of the rare, the rare, uh, the rare quartz, which allow you to get like. Two or three or uh two or three ornaments in one. Did I put Chrono Break on someone yet? Uh let me see. I did not. I should. Alyssa, take this oh god, she needs to open up two slots in that case. Yeah, sure. All right, Alyssa. So, she wants a, a space one here. Uh, luck, no. No. I'm gonna give her EP cut one, and then I can give her on this one the chrono, it was chrono drive, right? Yeah, chrono drive. I don't have chrono break yet. And that's where I'll hold. And because I did op open up slots, I should Go ahead and uh, rest up. And then 
proceed. Uh, did we uh, do the main quest? What were the main quests again? Oh yeah, we can turn these leaves back in. I was about to say, I'm pretty sure one's the watchtower, but what was the other one? I mean, not the watchtower, but the, the fort or whatever that we came in from. And what was the other one? The grass, that's right, that we already did this. We already did this. Welcome back. Seems like you all made it back in one piece. Yeah, no issues here. Can you check to make sure we've collected the right thing? Sure. Give it here. Hand over, hand it over five epona grass. Yep, these are what I was looking for. Thanks a lot. You saved me a lot of hassle of getting them myself. <laughs> it was our pleasure. Are things coming along well in regards to making the medicine? Yep. All I need to do is add this grass now. Granted, I still need to wait until it's properly mixed in, so it'll be a while yet until it's ready. It should be done by tonight, though. So I'll make sure all the horses have it then. Thank you for the hard work, as always. No worries. Alright. Can't forget to give you your reward for helping out. Received scent. I remember this was not great in any of the other games, but let me remember what that is in a second. Thank you. Much appreciated. You all deserve it. Well then, good luck with the rest of your tasks. Turning over a new leaf completed. Oh, they changed it. Scent in this game gives you aerial, grand press, and dark matter. But it makes enemies... Uh, aggro to you much more. Yeah, that's what it used to do. It used to just give you aggro, which sucked. If I put this on, which is amazing, I'm unfortunately gonna struggle with the, the problem of, um, not being able to get advantages very well. But it, I don't think it matters because I can just do my little trick of hitting them, hitting them, hitting them, hitting them. In that case, Emma, let's do this. Um, is there something I don't really hear too much about anymore? Not really. I wish you could kind of see how long delays were for your arts. Like, for example, Emma, I would like to see how long of a delay this would be in battle. Like, how long of a delay? Is a Tira more of a delay than a Breath? Like, is it? That's my question, and that's what I would love to know. Because if that's- if Tira is less delayed than Breath, then yeah, I can keep this. But if it's a more delayed than a Breath, which shouldn't be, um, then I can take this off. Um. I don't think you need this anymore. Wait! I changed your Master Core. You definitely don't need this. I forgot about that. Oh, you definitely don't need this. Take this. You're gonna lose the HP, but whatever. You're gonna get something like... Aerial, Grand Press, and Dark Matter. I remember Dark Matter, but what was what's the other ones? Grand Press is an Earth Attack. Okay, Medium Range Earth Attack. Movement, 50% less. Wow. Um, it's a set also. Aerial is another Wind. Large Range set, so it's a n stronger move. And Dark Matter, which I remember being, yep, exactly the same exact thing. Large range suction AOE with a movement negative 50%. In that case, what we can do because of that, we can take out Earth Lance. We don't need Earth Lance anymore because we have Aerial. Uh, Grand Press, I mean to say. We don't need this. In that case, what we could do is... What can I do? Let's see. I don't really need, like, attacking, uh, wind attacks. A better fire attack than heat wave would be better 
would be nice, but unfortunately that's so far all I have got to deal with. If I don't know what to do, something like shield, uh, I mean H HP2 is not a bad option. Also, Earth Bell is not bad either, because it has the delay after using your art Earth Arts. Uh, let's go with Earth Bell. It also gives you a little Arts plus five, Arts Attack plus five. So why not, right? All right, we're looking pretty damn good on Emma. I gotta say. Was there a cast too inside the uh oh wait, it was in the building that we were just it was in the elder's home. Is there a cast two yet in this game yet? Or in this chapter that we can get? No. Okay. Alright, in that case, let's continue on. Alright, we're gonna have a long run over to uh the last main quest. Yes, let's write out. Also, I'm going to be writing out and everything, but give me a minute. I'm going to be chomping down on my little snack because I've had it sitting here for a little while now. God, it's such a long way. Oh my gosh. All right. So let's start. I want to make sure I don't skip all these fights entirely, though. I still need stuff with mass. Oh, man, I messed up. Zero arts? Is there a good reason why I should, I should do this? They're weak to it, and I get to hit the guy in the back, too. Yeah. Molten Rain! 35. She doesn't even have an S-Craft yet, so why not, right? See how this looks like. Hmm. Her, her attack is so bad that it doesn't do much. That's a seven turn poison. I thought that was gonna kill. They should die. It should have died with the. Oh, it's too far. Okay. I thought it would always target the whole t the whole uh, enemy, all the enemies. All right. I gotta protect Green. Luckily, you didn't miss and get countered. <laughs> Just small heal. But 40 CP? I mean, we don't really need the CP, to be honest. Small heal? That did a lot of heal. What the heck? You have a uh, crafting heal, don't you? You do. Let me give it to Rain. 
Bye. Level 26 for Rain. Alright. Back on the trail. I want to learn the. I want to learn how big the range is on the uh, the rush attacks. Seems it's like a medium range of some sort, something like that. I think it's like medium range. It feels like it's medium range. Hold on a second, guys. Hmm. I have to get a drink. <laughs> Alright, so we came from in there, which is where the station is, and where the end of the road is. Okay. So, we're going to be actually going inside this building, the, the border gate. Oh, we came from here, actually. Yeah, we came from here. And this is the station to head back. I want to kind of look at this place a little. Hmm. Ooh. There's one of these guys here, too. Purchase... Oh, it's the same... Ex it's literally the exact same things. Uh, 155, sure. Hmm. Okay. Here we are. What is the monster you want us to take care of? Thank you for coming. <laughs> Looks like you were able to get a good night's rest after your long journey. Yes, we were. Thank you for your concern, sir. And thank you again for preparing those horses for us yesterday. We really appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule for us. Oh, no need to thank me. It was the least I could do to welcome Gaius back to his homeland. Thank you very much. I wouldn't have been able to enroll in the academy if not for your recommendation. I'm truly grateful, I, as I expected, as I knew. I literally said it, that this is the guy who recommended him. Really? It did seem like the two of you were no strangers. I can hardly imagine the circumstances that would give cause for a nomad to, be, to meet an Imperial officer. <laughs> it does boggle the mind, doesn't it? But actually, I owe a great debt to Gaius. He saved my life. Seriously? We first met around a year ago. Back when I took up my post here at Zender Gate. While out on an inspection of the Highlands, I found myself surrounded by a pack of wolf-like beasts. And out of nowhere, young Gaius comes galloping in, ear in hand, to pull my ass out of the fire. What a way to meet. <laughs> it was like a textbook definition of acting without thinking. No, no. You should be proud of yourself. There I was, on the defensive, cautiously gauging my best course of action. When Gaius barreled into the fray all alone and fought off the lot of them. And this was a year ago? Back when he was just 16? Unbelievable. <laughs> that sounds just wild enough to be a true story, Gaius. A true Gaius story. Anyway, that's how the Lieutenant General and I first became acquainted. He's the first, he's the one who wrote me the recommendation that allowed me to enroll at the Academy. I saw a lot of potential in you. I figured it'd be a shame if you were never given the chance to realize it. I'm glad to see you again, Gaius. As am I. Anyway, let's move along to business. 
Are you ready for me to explain what I'd like for you to do? Ready when you are, sir. It was something about hunting down a dangerous monster that's been sighted around here, right? Indeed. It's a ferocious beast and a dangerous one. I've had reports coming in of people being attacked on the way across the highlands. Hmm. It does sound like the kind of problem that's the, that'd be best not ignored. Is it possible to send the army after it? My first thought was to do exactly that. Unfortunately, it never stays in any one place for too long. As such, we were initially unable to pinpoint a specific location where we could mount an operation against it. When you consider how vast the planes are, hunting a target that's constantly moving isn't an easy task. You said initially, though. So does that mean... Sharp thinking, Miss Milstein. Several days ago, we managed to discover at least one of its haunts. And right as I was about to draw up plans for an operation, I was informed you'd be paying us a visit. I figured a good battle might be just the right kind of mission for your field study. Ah, so that's how it happened. Would you mind telling us where we can find the monster? We've tracked it to a basin that lies near, uh, lies east-north, east-northeast of Zender Gate. So it's always on the move, and it always appears to linger in that area during this time of day. I'd like to ask you to head there right away and exterminate it for us. Understood. Leave everything to us. We won't let you down. Excellent. I'm counting on you, then. The basin shouldn't be too far on horseback. Take care. Understood, sir. Alright, looking for a basin east-northeast of here. Let's get going, then. Quest started. Alright. Should be fairly simple. Alright, it's not going to tell us where it is. Oh, lord. East, northeast, though. I mean, we're in the f bottom west, so... Telling me it's in the northeast doesn't really help. But I guess it's probably in that corner. That's my guess, though. Yes. Let's see if I'm right, though. Also, hold on. My ear is itching. Hold on. Okay, okay, okay. Um... Am I going? Okay, yeah. I guess being on the horse does not trigger the, the scent. Or, uh, which is awesome. I can actually, actually get what I, uh, get the advantage. Zero arts? May as well, right? Counter. Countered. Gotta love blind. Except when it's on you. <laughs> It's not the worst thing when it's on you, but it, it certainly does suck on um, physical attackers. That's definitely not the monster, but... It just looks menacing enough to the point that I have to fight it. it looks like it would provide me a good amount of sepif mass. Oh, it is the monster, actually. I'd say that's the monster we came looking for. The Lieutenant General did say that it was spotted around here and at this time of day, too. Yeah, let's make sure we're fully prepared before we engage it. Understood. We won't let the Lieutenant General down. I was right. I mean, I was wrong. No, I was right. I was wrong. Let me heal up Gaius here for that tiny little bit. Save right here. Let's do this. Oh yeah, we're not going to get an advantage of any kind against strong monsters. Let's go in. Motivate. Into Fortuna. Uh, you don't need the arts attack and arts defense up. Arts defense is pretty good, but not the arts attack. But I'm gonna go in. Calamity Hawk. And we get the unbalance too, that's awesome. Where was my... 
There we go. Let's aim it at here so we can get everyone. Three over there, four over here. Yeah. Arts attack. Nice counter. Uh, let's see. Big fish is weak to stuff. We get to test out the new earth attack that we got. Sounds good. What am I targeting? What's the one I'm targeting right now? Okay. Yeah, doing it here is fine. I don't even need to S craft. Burned Grand Press. Powerful discharge. We got We got muted, okay. Bam! Didn't doesn't even matter though. Alyssa leveled up to level 25, and Emma to 26, and Gaius to 25. Gaius got a craft um, called the Wild Rage. It is a support-based craft on his on some single target. No, it's on himself actually. You lose 30% HP to gain 50 CP. This is literally what Randy had, and uh, no, was it? It was um, I'm thinking of um, the guy from Trust in the Sky. I forgot his name. Something with an A. I forgot his name, but it's the red hair red-headed guy from Girls in the Sky who joins you. I forgot. And I think Randy had this too, but I'm not quite sure. <laughs> and then Yusuf hit level 26 and learned Noble Command. It is another support. XL size on your and it also works on yourself. Strength, art attack, and speed 25%. Oh my gosh. Strength and Arch Attack in one with speed on top, and it's XL size and it works on itself. Useless, you might you might actually be someone I might actually think about putting in. Right, looks like that takes care of our task. Seems so. I hope this will go this will go some way towards repaying the debt they owed the Lieutenant General. My, how gracious of you. Well, I'm happy for you. <laughs> Let's return to Zender Gate and return and report a success to the Lieutenant General. I like the fact that it took us there automatically. So you were able to defeat the beast? Excellent work. I really appreciate your assistance. The winds allowed us to prevail. <laughs> so it seems. Here's your reward for a job well done. You've earned it. Speed breaker. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Always glad to be of service. Even, even had we not prevailed, the troops here would have soon made short work of the beast. Perhaps so, but I appreciate your assistance nonetheless. Even against a monster, I'd rather avoid deploying soldiers. Mobilizing troops tends to alarm people. Sure, we maybe have been able to defeat it, but this was a better outcome for all concerned. I see. That does make sense. He really seems like a skilled leader. I'd heard of one-eyed Zex after and the Vander School of Swordsmanship before, but... Yeah. Not hard to tell why he's a celebrated military general. Back when I first met him, he really changed my perspective on the Erebonian military. Military. I can see why. Regardless, I don't want to take up any more of your time. I'm sure your field study here will be an invaluable experience, and hopefully a memorable one as well. I wish you the best of all your remaining tasks. Thank you, sir. We'll do our best. If you'll excuse us, then. Quest return to Zender completed. And now we go, we go back to the settlement. It's not even noon. All this time, and it's not even noon. Yes. But we gotta get there before noon to get food and stuff. I'll do a couple fights here and there. No advantage, wow. But these guys get these guys get unbalanced pretty easily if I recall. No finishing blow? Come on.
These are the ones that get unbalanced easily. I should have rushed. I don't know why I didn't. Lord, gotta protect Rain. Take it out! Oh my lord! Now I have to do this. Rain would have died. Just be on the safe side while we're heading back. He'll rain up. Okay. Oh yeah, wild rage. Oh yeah, it's just it's just CP recovered. That's right. I mean, I forgot. Rush. Yeah, it's literally medium range. It's a medium range. That's what. Rush is just medium range. He's gonna die to the burn, and probably just gonna miss its attack. Yep. Bye. Or dart to the counter. Or either way. Get that plus one. There we go. Did we ever check out this corner? I feel like we did. No, we did not. There's a monster chest here. Oh, yeah. Let's, uh... Let me take these guys out. Nice, we got another rush. I'm gonna save for that potential. Oh, if we unbalance anyone in the monster chest. There we go. Alright. Oh, breath is just. Yeah, me as well. I was about to say. Um, is two tiers less than a breath? I feel like it would be, but it's literally the exact same. Save right here. Monster chest. She went first. That's interesting. Did I give her saintly force? This is not AOE. Should have been paying a bit more attention. Nice. What are you weak to? Wind. And we have this amazing aerial large range AOE. Um, uh, I'm gonna leave you alone. I'll go for this one. And goodbye. All that's left are these guys. You get easily unbalanced. There we go. Force reached level 3. I forgot about the Master Quartz leveling up. Green's Master Quartz leveled up to level 3. Um, so now 
killing CP, you know, goes to 15% of a buff. Uh, you get 15% more CP when you kill an enemy. And a new ability. Restore CP when HP is low. You get 50 CP. Oh my god. When you get below 20 HP. Or 20% HP. Put level 27 hit as well. Got a Suzaku Orbman. Suzaku is a attacks and crafts can seal or burn. That's really good. You have to take put that on Alyssa. Yeah, she already has a burn on. May as well just give her that. And I figure out what the guy, what the lieutenant general gave us. Speed breaker. Attack plus ten. Uh, attacks and crafts cause twenty five. There's a 50% chance of making them lose speed. Jesus. Alright. Uh, I'll take off the move too. And put speed breaker. We got voice breaker too, which is, uh... They can cause art attack down. Wow. Lord. Jeez. Alright, speed breaker. I can take off the attack one. Ah, oh, but... I need to put fire here. Put the attack two here. Here I can put the, uh... Voice breaker. I wish it was... I wish it also said arts as well, because I could just put this on someone else, but... We can do with that. Yes. Alright, let's get back to, uh... A little... A little settlement. Report in and see... That they're probably gonna give us more... <laughs> more things to do. Or maybe it's gonna be like, Oh yeah, go ahead and check out the, uh... The stone area or whatever for... Whatever reason or another. But before we go back there... Check these two places out. So we can buy... I know Gaius is back... I mean, Eustace is back there, but eh. I'm not using him right now. Give this up to Gaius. Is this just... Yeah, this is just 10 off. Okay. It's fine. I'll take the defense. Maybe. Yeah. Sure. I don't have enough money for any more. Did I get any more U materials while I was out there? Three? No. I need one for an upgrade, but... I haven't gotten it. Alright, let's go to the main quest. Hmm. I see you finished all of this morning's tasks. Yeah, we hit all the essential ones. Good work, everyone. Food's almost ready, so just give it a little, mo a little more time. Ah, looks like we came right on time then. Is it luck or intuition? Either way, there's more than enough to go around. I'm sure you must be starving after riding all over the plains this morning. Well, I am pretty hungry. Riding can be surprisingly strenuous. It smells wonderful. I think the scent is starting to make me even hungrier. Me too. Hey, no eating before it's done. <laughs> anyway, let me thank you for working hard this morning. Take a seat. Begin our midday meal in just a minute. Sounds good. Green and the others sat down and waited for the meal to be served. After eating their fill of warm, fragrant naan bread and savory kebabs, they all washed it down with a cup of Sheeta's finest herbal tea. Ah, that really hits the spot. I still want to eat more, but my stomach is protesting. That naan flatbread you made was really delicious. It tasted so fresh, too. <laughs> I baked it on a kind of collapsible stove. 
I'm glad you liked it. I doubt you see bread like that much in the Empire. Oh, I don't think I could eat another bite. Cheetah's tea was a wonderful finish to the meal, too. Yeah, must have been practicing quite a bit while I've been away. Your tea etiquette was perfect as well. I hope you will continue to learn and improve. Th thank you. <laughs> Sheeta got praised by the cool boy. L Lily. <laughs> it looks like you were able to recover your strength. Hopefully you're about ready to start thinking about the afternoon's tasks. Oh yes, of course. Shall we get started on the clearing up first then? Or cleaning up first? Did he say clear cleaning or clearing? Oh, you don't need to worry yourselves with that. Oh no, I would feel terrible if you had to do it all on your own. Hmm, then shall we begin? Yeah, cleaning up. Alright, here's the afternoon tasks. Two side quests, one main quest. Side quest, I would like you to hold a simple lesson for the children of the settlement. That sounds super fast. The other one is... The fence in the pasture is broken. It's been damaged, I guess I should say. A uh, number of sheep have gotten loose. Go help and find them. Oh god. Main quest is... Uh, a visiting photographer by the name of Norton has left the Northern Highlands unaccompanied. I'd like you to go after him and ensure his safety, but first, please visit me at my home as I have more to tell you. Okay. Alright. There are only a few, but they all seem pretty challenging. Not to mention tedious. This afternoon, I'd like to turn your attention towards the Northern Highlands. You may need to travel to the south as well, though, which will give you a lot of ground to cover. I left some fresh horse near the left some fresh horses near the northern exit. Why did he say fresh horses? That sounds terrible. Some fresh horses near the northern exit. So just head out that way when you're ready to leave. Thank you. All right, everyone, let's do this. We should swing by and visit the elder first, since he's the client for our only essential request this afternoon. That seems sensible. Okay, let's pay the elder a visit. Haha. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Alright. Side quests first. This one over here seemed super easy and short. Let's see if I'm right about that, though. I've been waiting for you all. Did you all have a look at my request? We did. You want us to hold a class for the children, right? What do you want us to teach them, though? Don't worry, it's nothing too difficult. I just want you to teach them a little bit about Erebonia. I see. That explains what you asked us then. This is a good chance for them to learn about life outside the settlement. They attend Sunday school, so they're fine in regards to regular studies. Might I ask how Sunday school is carried out here? A traveling priest comes by once a month to hold it. He really can't be thankful enough for all of his efforts. When you think about it, the sheer amount of work the church goes on such a huge scale really is amazing. Indeed, it's all thanks to the goddess' generosity. Do you have the time to help? If so, I'll call the children over. Yeah, I'll do it. Yes, we're ready when they are. Thank you. Oh, I meant to say, we want this to be similar to Sunday school, so we'd like just one of you to serve as the teacher. Feel free to pick among yourselves. Don't keep in mind that Gaius isn't a candidate. Hmm. Who's the ideal candidate for this then? Hmm. I believe each of us would have our own unique things to teach here. That's true. I think it might be best to go with Emma. D Actually, I believe that this would be. I, I believe that you would be the best candidate for this reign. I was about to say Emma's perfect. What? I was thinking the same thing myself. Actually, social standing is pretty important in Erebonia, and there's a broad variety of opinions about it. But you're kind of a special case, Reen. That's true. His unique position allows him to discuss things from a relatively unbiased point of view. But, I think you'd be a good choice, Reen. I'm pretty sure they're just saying all that just to sh just to throw all the crap onto him. Just to shove it all onto him. <laughs> Even taking your position out of the equation, you're almost always the center of our class anyways. Well, I suppose I can't say no if everyone feels that way, can I? Alright then, I'll do it. <laughs> Thanks. Well, looks like we're ready to begin. Wonderful. I'll gather the children right away. 
quest, a special lesson started. They're gonna make me... They're gonna ask questions, I gotta get it right, and it's gonna be AP for it, I already know it. She's so cute, the little girl on the left, that's a Lily, right? Or no, Sheeta, that's Sheeta. Sheeta's a small one. This is so cute. Is that everyone? I don't see Doma anywhere, though. Uh, Doma's part of the older group in Sunday school, so... Yeah, he's got work to do, too, so he can't come. I see. I was hoping he'd be here, too. Let's get started, then. <laughs> I'm so excited. Glad to hear it. I guess I should introduce myself first. I'm Ring Schwartzer. My friends and I came here from Thor's Military Academy. Thor's Military Academy. Hehe. <laughs> You're from the same academy as Gaius, then. Schools for studying and stuff, right? What do you study there? Oh, hold on. Oh, I meant to... Hold on. Okay. Well, we get taught all kinds of things, really. You're at the basic stu subjects like history and math. But being a military academy, we also learn the art of combat. That's the same stuff Lacan and everyone else uses to fight monsters, isn't it? That's so cool! I see you've got a boyish side to you after all. Yeah, despite being a little scaredy cat. I I am not. Haha, <laughs> hey now. There's no need to be te there's no need for teasing. Hey, hey, how far is that academy from here? Oh that the little girl's Lily. How far? In terms of distance? Um you came here on something called the train, didn't you? Could you tell us how long that trip took? Oh, that makes it a bit easier in that case. We left at like 7, and he got here at 4. Right? So... I would say... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, when we came here, it was evening. It has to be 12 hours. Was it around 12 hours? Getting here before yesterday was over would have been a bit of a struggle if it was. In that case, oh, 8 hours. If we take the transfer times out of the equation, then we were on the train for about 8 hours, I'd say. That's pretty far. That makes sense, being on the train for 8 hours, but you don't talk about the, uh, the times to get, you know, from one train to another. That makes sense. That's pretty far. Daddy told me that trains are fast, too. So it took that long, even then? It must be super far away, then. It really is. So the fact that we still made it here in a day is pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah. I'd have taken a lot longer by horse. Um, can I ask something too? Of course. Right. What's the biggest place in Erebonia then? That would be Heimdaller, which is our capital city. Heimdaller. That's a cool name. Yeah, it sounds strong. <laughs> That's a unique way to judge it. Um, how many people live there? Um, Jesus Christ, I'm not gonna know. I'm gonna say a hundred thousand people. No. Uh, eight hundred thousand, okay. From what I remember, it's around eight hundred thousand people. Eight hundred thousand? Is that a lot? <laughs> Seems like they can't comprehend the number that big just yet. Then again, I can't imagine that many people in one place either. <laughs> You're not the only one. Of course, you never actually see that many people all at once. Granted, he struggles from time to time, but they're learning the correct information in the end. So it seems. A lot of it's common knowledge, though. Well, I'm just glad to see them learning something. <laughs> He's not a bad teacher. If anyone has any further questions, please feel free to ask. Um, can I ask something then? Of course. What is it? How long ago was Thor's first built? Gaius told me about how, how it has a long history, but I've forgotten when exactly it was made. 250 years ago. 
through 20. Yours was founded about 220 years ago, roughly 30 years after the War of the Lions ended. The founder was none other than the Emperor Dracos, a legendary figure in the Empire and even here in the Highlands. Founding the Academy was one of the last things he did before he passed away. That's a long time. I didn't know that Emperor Dracos was the one who founded it. I knew who he is too. He was friends of our ancestors, wasn't he? Yeah, he won the war and became the most important person in Erebonia. Yep, that's how he became the Emperor. Hearing you all talk about him really goes to show how deep his connection with Nord was. So, is there anything else you'd like to know? Me, me. I have a question. Well, it's almost time for us to finish up for the day. Is there anything else you'd like to know before then? Hmm, I think I've asked everything. I can't think of anything else either. You two really did ask a lot. Oh yeah! <laughs> Seems like she's not all out just yet. We talked about them before, but what are nobles? Well, you see, there's been a class system in place within Erebonia for a long time now. What the class system? Hmm. Could you give me a few moments to think? I'm not entirely sure how I should answer this. Um, can I ask as well now that it's been brought up? Go ahead. I'm not sure if either of them will really understand if you try to explain normally, so... Will you give us your own thoughts about nobles instead? That might make things easier to understand. That makes giving an answer easier too. Wow, things escalated, didn't they? Indeed. I wonder how he'll answer. Hmm, this is still a bit tough. I don't think there's really a right or wrong answer, so I'll just have to give what my heart thinks. To me... No idea. <laughs> Pride in one's lineage, to be honest. I think nobles are all about taking pride in one's lineage. Oh? Whether the class system is a good thing or not, it's something I don't feel capable of answering just yet. But I think nobles want to live up to the legacy their predecessors left them. And by trying to do that, they better themselves as individuals. At the very least, I do think that sort of mindset can be a good thing. Of course, that isn't something exclusive to nobles. I see. I think I get what you're trying to say. I'm just rambling now. Sorry. No, it's okay. I learned a lot from what you've told us. <laughs> I didn't really get it, but you sounded really cool. Yeah. So that's how he feels. That was a really thoughtful response. Eh. One very like him as well. Hehe. <laughs> it was. I'm very impressed, to be honest. Regardless, that should be enough for today. Make sure to thank him now, everyone. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Let me give you something to thank you for taking the time to teach the children. I believe that was a very valuable experience for all of them. <laughs> Truthfully, I don't feel like I did a very good job explaining things. I ended up spending too much time thinking about their questions, too. <laughs> we could tell you were really enthusiastic, though, and I think the kids picked up on that, too. She's right. They all seem to have been enjoying themselves. Your answer to that final question was rather impressive as well. Yeah, looks like the kids aren't the only ones who learned something new today. <laughs> I got so caught up in the details that I couldn't really explain myself properly, but I'm glad you guys think I did okay. <laughs> you should have some more confidence in yourself. At any rate... Here's your compensation for playing teacher today. Yellow pendulum received. Thank you, ma'am. Well then, wish you the best of luck with that field study of yours. May the blessing of the winds and the goddess be with you. Quest complete. Yellow pendulum is what? Prevent seal and mute. Awesome. Alright. I'm gonna load this up, though. So that way I can get the right answer, so that way... I can get the right answer the first time, so that way I can go ahead and, uh, um, what's it called? Make sure I get all the AP. Because obviously, I missed like two or three of them. Um, so I, I'm not going to get the full amount of AP.
I gotta, I gotta watch out. I gotta make sure I don't accidentally hit X on something. Okay, here we go. First one. Eight hours. Big, yeah, yeah, yeah. He answers that himself. Uh, 800,000 people live there. George was first about two, 220 years ago. And then finally, top, the top one when, uh, of the question of nobles. Lily is adorable. Pride in one's lineage. Alright. Let's see what she said what we say now. I hope they got what I was trying to say. It wasn't exactly the easiest subject matter. <laughs> you could tell you were really enthusiastic though enthusiastic though, and I think the kids picked up on that too. She's right. They all seem to have been enjoying themselves. And this. Alright. Quest complete. Now we save. Um. Yellow Pendulum is still in mute, right? Yes. Okay. So now I'll talk about the damaged sheep that ran away. Or it's probably gonna make us find it in like the southern area, but who knows? We'll see. Hey there, I was waiting for you. How in the world did the fence end up like this? Your guess is as good as mine. Seems like it got broken sometime just before noon. Unfortunately, some of the sheep managed to escape too. I doubt there's any need to worry about monsters getting them because they're surprisingly fast, but would you be able to go out and find them for me? Yes. Gladly. How many sheep managed to escape? Five of them in total. Based on their hoof prints, it seems like three went north and two went south. I'd honestly like to go search for them myself, but I need to get this fence fixed up first. Otherwise, the rest of them will make a break for it as well. Don't worry. We'll take care of them. Shall we begin the search immediately then? That's probably the best idea, especially with how vast the highlands are. We need to make some preparations of our own before leaving, though. I agree. Heading out there with insufficient supplies is foolhardy. Right then. Let's get started once we're ready. I mean, we're good now. Well, it probably wants us to talk to the elders, but let me see if I can go straight to the south area. Yes, I can. Perfect. There's one there. And the other one's over there. Okay. Oops. Do -do -do. Do a couple of fights for that Sepith mass, and you know, obviously, obviously for just, just general XP as well. Level 26 for guys, look at that. If I avoided everything, I would have never gotten that. I didn't get that. Okay. Wait, wait, we don't have CP yet. We don't have our S craft, I mean. I forgot that it's a set. So good. Nice. Nice. Alright, there it is. There's the sheep. I can see it from here. Ah, found one. I'm surprised they managed to come all the way out here. What are we going to do with the sheep we find? I'll lead the sheep back to the settlement with my horse. 
But we should leave guiding them back until after we found all five. Okay, we'll leave that to you. Found the first sheep. Alright, the last one is on the other end. Yeah. Go up here and then turn right. Fight here. No, use something like Frost Edge. God, the freeze is so good! Freeze is so dang good when you get it off. Petrify as well. Petrify even more so, though. Uh, just to ensure the kill. <laughs> Didn't ensure anything. Level 27 for Emma. Here's the second sheep. Is that one of them? Yes, that's one of the sheep we're looking for. Phew. That's two of them. Yeah. There's still a few more out there, though. Found the second sheep. Oh my gosh, it respawned? Oh my lord. Alright. So like he said, there's just two down here, yeah? Yeah. Let me read that just to be on the safe side. Yeah. Okay. Get back. We're pretty far. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I love how there's a little sheep count. I just realized there's a sheep counter uh, underneath our HP bars. That's so cool. What did the elder wanted us to do? Okay. So we'll go get that main quest started up. Boom. Hello there, Elder. Welcome. I assume you've seen our request? We did. I mentioned that a cameraman's made his way out of the, out of the settlement on his own. That's correct. He goes by the name of Norton and is currently residing here on a vacation of sorts. I believe he said he works for a company called the Imperial Chronicle. I wasn't expecting to hear that name out here. He was quite fervent about the idea of taking photographs of something in the northern region of the Highlands. I plan on having you all escort him there in the afternoon, but apparently he was unable to wait until then and he took off by horse on his own. Really? How childish. <laughs> I assume he simply couldn't control his passion as a photographer. He must really be taken by whatever it is. There are many ruins from the ancient Neolithic civilization in the northern region of the Highlands. It's likely that he went to visit the statue of the Guardian there. Guardian? What exactly is the statue? It's one of the symbolic ancient relics here in Nord. Legend has it that the Guardian it represents healed away an evil jinn within the ancient quarry to the north. Wow, quite the grand 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 legend. At any rate, we should catch up with him as soon as possible. Monsters aren't the only reason the northern region can be dangerous. Hmm, not in the area of those not from Nord should be traveling across alone. Could you please find him for us and keep him safe? Understood. Leave it to us. Make our way there immediately then. Indeed. We'll, we'll need to leave the settlement through the northern entrance. 
I'll leave this in your hands then. Take care. Alright. So we gotta go ahead and find this person. Did we get any Sephiroth masks to get any new equipment? We were like super close to one if I recall. Yes, I think so. Yeah, I can buy this one for Emma. And sell this. Now the last one we're gonna buy is for Gaius. Actually. Oh wait, wait, shoes, 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 shoes. Yeah, just get 1,400 for Gaius. We never got you material, right? We did not. Okay. Let me rest up before we go to the northern area. That's in the lodging over here. I don't know why we have to go here to rest up. Why can't we go and rest up in the, uh, you know, the place that we normally, that, the place that we slept in. You know, the, uh, what is it? What is it called? The war's out home. Guys, is home. Like, I guess because they're in there, I guess. And they're up and doing things. I guess. May as well just giving us that lodge instead of just giving us the home with Gaius. No, no, no. That's, that lodging was our, that was our lodgings. Gaius went, that's right. Gaius went and slept at his own home because the sister insisted on it. That's right. I remember now. Anyways, we got this whole northern area to check out. Ride onto the northern region of the highlands? Yes. Ah, the winds here feel so nice. Agreed. It has a different flavor of freshness to it than the winds in the southwestern highlands. Oh, that's due to all the sheer cliffs around here. Gives the wind in this area a unique feel. The winds take many forms and bestow countless blessings on the people of Nord. Well, I can see why your people place such importance on the wind. Yeah, and the view here is just as nice as the vistas in the southwest too. Anyway, if we're all rested up, we should get... What's wrong? Uh oh, nothing really. I was just looking at that cliff over there. Is it just me or does it look like there's something buried in it? Like... Some kind of giant. What are you going on about? There's no way something... Yeah, that's the colossal statue or whatever it was that was uh, detailed on the map. What an Adios name is that? I, I have no idea. Some kind of statue maybe? Do you think it's related to the stone circle in the south in the southern reaches of the highlands? Honestly, we don't know all that much about it ourselves. An ancient statue said to be the guardian of the Nord Highlands. A guardian, huh? It does. It, I guess it does give that imp that kind of impression. Emma, you all right? Oh, sorry. I was just stunned speechless by that statue. Hmm. She knows something. Well, I can't say I don't understand the feeling of awe. I wonder how massive it must be when you're up close. I'd imagine it's more than likely the photographer we're seeking is in that area. That's what I thought too. So we'll need to venture closer regardless. By the way, if you head northeast of the statue, you'll find an ancient quarry. And to the northwest is the scenic Lake, La Lake Lacrima. It's always helpful to get the lay of the land, so there's no harm in visiting both of those sites too. Makes sense to me. All right, let's get moving. Take a look at this map. There's our side quest. We got a main quest there, and there's the second side quest over there. Okay. I, I like how straightforward it is. You you go up in a straightforward path. They're kind of big and expansive, but still straightforward. And uh, over there is a little bit less straightforward, but still pretty simple. This is a lot easier to traverse than the southern area. Anyways, guys, this is going to be something that we're going to be checking out in the next stream. So, <laughs> if you guys are enjoying this, like I'm enjoying this, um, I'm really enjoying this. Uh, I feel like after we've gotten past all the really annoying 
high school drama. You know, Eustace hating Machias. Ah, Nobo this, Nobo that. I hate Nobos. Um, the game has gotten better. Because that's the one thing that's been annoying me. Um, I guess the other thing that kind of annoys me slightly is the fact that we keep getting separated from our groups. Like, I want to make a specific group and stick with it. Um, I hate the fact that we're getting always, like, thrown everywhere. Uh, in different groups and I it wants you to build up everyone but I don't want to do that because that's a lot of sep if that gets put into other people that are, you know may not be as uh, great in my opinion and then also um, being in the, the academy itself is a bit of a drag to be honest I don't really enjoy it I prefer when we get on these field studies and just go out and adventure but anyways that's just me <laughs> I'm enjoying the game regardless besides this is part one of part four so I, I expect the other games to be nothing like this. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this like I have. And if you guys have, then um, be sure to be here on the next one. I'm going to, I can't r recall off the top of my head when it will be. Um, but I will f try to figure out what I can do because I gotta, I should do a afternoon stream. Although I get in a little bit earlier this week because it's a busy week. But I will see what I can do. Um, regardless, I will definitely let you guys know on Twitter, um, like I typically do. Um, and, uh, yeah, really, that's really all I can say right now. I will definitely let you guys know on Twitter if there is an afternoon stream. It, whether there's not, we'll have to see. Either way, like I said, just I'll just check my Twitter, follow me on Twitter, and I'll let you guys know. And in the meantime, let me go ahead and um, see who we can raid for the night. Let us see. Let us see. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and raid uh, Bakusan JRPG. Great person. Absolutely amazing streamer. He is playing Persona 4 Golden, and Persona 4 Golden is one of my favorite games of all time. It's in my top 5, maybe top 4, I don't know yet. <laughs> Either way, this game has also not only one of my favorite games of all time, but also one of the best of soundtracks of all time. And if you guys are interested in checking it out, um, I'm going to be dropping the raid here. Um, so go ahead and join and give Bakusan a follow, because he is a great person. And uh, he definitely deserves it for all the work that he does. Anyways, guys, take care. Enjoy yourselves. And I hope you guys have a good one. Take care, guys. See you next time.